<laughs> I believe our Lady Frothgar is on her way. Yes, yes, yes. I saw some pictures fly my way of people like, ooh, ooh, no one's going to play it. Well, I mean, not no one. The general, general no one. All right. So there's always going to be someone. There's always going to be someone. Well, let's just say I predict not a particularly popular character. Let's put it that way. Not a particularly Help, popular I can't character. Stop subbing to this loud Brit, JK. Hope you had a good weekend. I'm not that loud. I'm compressed. All right. I've got compression on. All right. I'm not that loud. I'm not super, May super chaos loud. chaos take the world. You know what I mean? I'm not Meow. super, super loud. Yeah. Raven's going to play. I don't think even Raven would descend into the pits of hell that is the old hairy Hrothgar. I don't think he'd do it, man. I don't think he'd make it. I don't think he'd do it. Not loud. <laughs> I'm not that loud, right? I'm not scary loud or anything like that. I'm totally not going to play it, Copium. I mean, maybe at a party. In fact, speaking of which, we have a situation that needs desperately uh, resolving. This is not our MSQ character. This is not acceptable. This is uh, this must change. Yeah, this is uh, this is not going to be the way we do it. Taste for the we need to Fantasia uh, rather swiftly. We need to Fantasia rather swiftly and get this get this situation fixed real quick. It's How not good. Not soy face over Femroth Chabanim. I'm kind of curious. Uh, the introduction is what I'm waiting for. What is the introduction like? I'm a fist officer. Sorry to hear about your compression, Mike. If you need someone to talk to, ask the rat clown. Fuck, fuck off, man, right? I'm not depressed. I'm not depressed. I'm far from depressed, right? I had a really nice weekend, okay? I got to do loads of things with people that I like. It was good. It was good. It was really good. I got to go to a lovely dinner with someone from Blizzard. I got to see my family, right? I got to do all sorts of cool shit. I was... I was happy. Yo, and you're not going to well. spoil that. It's Monday months, morning. Huh? You're not going to spoil my mood. You're going to Spain. Enjoy Spain, Mr. Raven. And I will bully chat. Yes, yes, I will. Take me home. Right, take me home so I can get naked in privacy. I want to go home so I can get naked and fix. Oh, don't friend request me. I'm a fist officer. Please don't friend Slowly request me. Slowly making my way through the story to be ready. Just started Heavensward today. Oh, then, yeah, uh, as much as this is not advisable, don't watch the stream today, because, uh, yeah, massive spoilers are imminent. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah. Okay, you're not in sync, and it makes me really sad. What is this? Is this purchasable, or is this from the MSQ? Nice. Is this purchasable, or what? I don't know what this is. Oh, tribal quests. All right. Sounds like mentor work. Sounds like mentor work. Don't I have this? Rabbit beast quest. Okay. 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 See, you're the kind of person who'll play a Fem Hrothgar. That's what you are. Aren't you? You can't fucking wait. You can't fucking wait. You're counting the seconds. You're counting the goddamn seconds. I almost feel like we'll log in the day of release and everybody will be a Fem Hrothgar. You will just pour money into Squeenix just for the memes of it all. That's all it'll be. I'm you a fist off. Pour it in. I watched your reaction to Endwalker trailer last night again. Mm. I never noticed it happen, but damn, you've lost so much weight. Congrats, dude. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. It's just tedious. Boring. You know, I actually caught me out because at dinner, everybody was get. You know what I can't stop looking at now, and it really fucking annoys me? Is how many calories are in certain foods. And everybody was ordering these meals that were like... 1800 calories or whatever and I was like I can't do it man I can't do it I can't do it I just can't fucking do it and I, I ended up getting um I got the sea bus it was 700 calories <laughs> I was like I can't 
I can't do it. I can't. I can't justify it. I, I've, I've run so far. <laughs> I've run so far. It was nice. It was nice. <sighs> but it wasn't that juicy cheese and bacon burger that was on offer. It wasn't that. It wasn't the juicy bacon cheeseburger that I saw someone else having. I was like, oh my god. Uh huh. What, what is this? I just need to re edit. There we go. Give me back my Michael Sarah. Uh, the one, the only. Is it this one? There we go. Perfection itself. Perfection itself. It is good that restaurants do that, but like you find you real like I don't even know how it's possible to get nearly two thousand calories into a one patty burger. What in the fuck, man? How is that even possible? How is it even possible to get nearly two thousand calories into a single fucking pattied burger? It's outrageous, right? Butter. Ugh. Uh, I've actually just upgraded my consumables, though, on Nobble's request. I now have some creatine. Nobble was uh, giving me all the advice, so I now have some creatine. Uh, I'll see how that works I'm, after a month and see if I notice any difference. He recommends. He's fully on board. So we're, we're trying some creatine out. I've lost strength gains by doing a lot more uh, cardio. He thinks it's the, he thinks it's the play. Put loads of sugar in the sauce. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. All right, fix me up, baby. And do this. Uh huh. Hello. Welcome home. Nope, oh, that's not the right one. Where are you? Where are you at? Uh. I think it was the wings, right? I don't remember the hat, though. Do they have the hat? You talking about being healthy while my fat ass is sitting here eating pizza? You having pizza now? Yeah, I think it was that one. Yeah, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Okay. You're eating pizza now? Well, what time is it in the world? Yeah, you're in, the, you're in Australia. I haven't had pizza in ages. I would like some pizza. I really would like some pizza. Hmm. Uh, what's my weight now? I actually don't know what my weight is. I haven't weighed in a while. I'm a fist uh, officer. I, I have a confession to make. I have played a lot of MMOs and RPGs with a lot of different races. Yeah. Gnomes and Halfings, Turians and Quarians, Goombas and Toadstools. <laughs> but nothing has made me as angry as the Lalas. I hate them. They suck. Sorry, chat. <laughs> <laughs> I do hate the Lalafells. I do. I hate the Lalafells so fucking much. Like, as soon as... Whenever there's Lalafell rage, right? Whenever, like, the, the chair... Oh, God. The chair thing made me so happy. It made me so happy. When they were all raging about the chair. Oh, I could have drank those tears. I was like, oh, yeah. Get mad. Get mad, you little fuckers. Get absolutely angry. Get so mad. Get so crazy. Oh, yeah. Nom, 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 nom. The chair was great. It was so good. Ah, we're not children. Not Does children. Does this weight loss mean Mike has entered his twink arc? Uh, I don't want to be a twink. Although, Emma does want me to stop losing weight now. Emma has had enough. Hope you enjoy Emma hasn't MSQ. had enough. D. I disagree. Emma has had more than enough. She's like, I don't like it anymore. <sighs> she wants. She, I think she wants me to have a heart attack. I think there's some insurance play going on. Yeah, I think I think there's some insurance. I think there's some insurance play going on for sure. She's like, I don't like it anymore. She she looked. How is this still here? How is this still here? Like, after all this time, this how has this still not been changed? The booba still exists. That's why. Uh-huh. That's why. Right. You know what the crawl... I do know what the crawlers are like. Yeah, to be fair, the house is lovely. It's just you're presented with so many boobas, like, immediately upon entering. Like, the detail that goes into this house. This is the Halloween Emma event. Emma is gonna start injecting your food with distiled Greggs. 
yeah, I'm keeping my eye on her a little bit, to be honest with you. I'm keeping my eye on her. She's, uh... What is she saying Emily's to me? Emily's just worried. Your mass was her emergency rations in the event of nuclear war. It was kind of bad, actually. It was kind of bad. Is I was in the bath. Uh, and I was watching the IT crowd. Because you do. That's what you do in the bath, right? You, you, in, my, in the bath, I do my emails. And I reply to people. And I was watching the IT crowd. Uh, and she came in. And she, was, she like looked down at me. She went... I don't like your face. <laughs> Which is a bad message to receive, right? That's not confidence inspired. She went, I don't like your face. And I went, what do you mean? And she went, you've lost volume in your cheeks. And you haven't got puffy cheeks anymore. And I was like, oh, right. And she went, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like your face. It's like, I'm not skinny, Emma, by a long way. <laughs> I'm very, very far from being skinny. She went, yeah, I just don't like your face. And I was like, okay. I guess <laughs> I should say that. She went, just saying, and then, then moved on with the day. That's uh, yeah. She wants she wants the old chubby chubbers to work it together. I think she's a feeder. I think she's a feeder. I tell you what I'll do. I'll sneakily take pits of whatever she's making for dinner tonight. See if it's lard filled. See if it's there. Just straight up nagging. Yeah, not subtle about it. Oh, the love handles are still there. That's what I was trying to say. Like, we're not slim by any means. But, uh, yeah, I've got down to a 34 waist, which is nice. But there's still a ways to go. I can still grab the old booby. See? You can still grab some booby. There's, a, there's an old booby grab going on. <sighs> Oof. We're getting ready for Dawn Trail. I don't think we're going to see Pictomancer Kryle yet, are we? I don't think that's going to happen. Uh... I don't think that's happening. Uh, I think we go as the proper floor inspector. That's that's where my head's at. Yeah. I think we bring the proper floor. The gear's old. It's 580, but I don't think it matters what we're doing. I don't think it matters. It's MSQ stuff. Unless it stops me doing it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I kind of need to do some gear upgrades. Uh, I mean, it's probably worth waiting for Dawn Trail now. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's worth waiting for Dawn Trail uh, to do some gear upgrades. We need a new glam as well. This has served us. I think we've had this since like Heaven's Ward, I think. I think we've had this since Heaven's Ward. I think Dawn Trail would go with something new. We do still need to do the right. Yeah, there's a ton of content I need to do in this and Guild Wars. And in WoW. I haven't killed Farak yet either. Like, there's a ton of stuff that needs to be done. I'm just enjoying so many other things right now. It's, uh... It's tough. Duplicity and duplication. What's this over here? Is this the advance of the, uh... The weapon? Is this weapon advancement? I guess it is. Hil Wait, there's another Hildy out? This new Hildy? Oh, shit! I thought they were saving that for another patch. Oh, snap! Okay, that's later. Oh, sick! Oh, okay, now I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, that's good news. That's good news. Okay, let's start with this. I assume we're going to see Vashan. Hello, warrior of light. That's the bad accent. Uh, my voices are going to be destroyed here. Okay, it's been a while. I, need, I, I hope there's an audio. I need to get a memory of the voice. Oh, it's Dyer Smidgey! Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she, yeah, she's baby sized. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I kind of thought she was going to die, so this is a vast improvement. <laughs> she's a parrot until we hear a voice. Kryle! She's parrot size. She's not going to have a full on uh, bolstering voice. Oh, we've got a day then. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I am aware that there is an hour and a half video on The Completionist. I am aware. But, dude, when the fuck are we supposed to fit an hour and a half into the stream day to watch a video? That's insane. An hour and a half? 
An hour and a half? That's fucking insane. Lunch? You think I have an hour and a half lunch? I've barely got four minutes. I stuff food into my face as quickly as possible. <sighs> uh, okay. No, let's focus up. Let's focus up. Let's one thing at a time. One foot in front of the other. That's how we're doing things. Ah, uh, floor. One of my clerks was just here. Message for you. The students of Baldacian request your presence in Charlian at your earliest convenience. Oh, we're going to Charlian. Cool. Indebted as I am to our friends, I had hoped that I might be of service, but it is you alone that they require. Am I in trouble? If you have no pressing business, pray. Make your way to the Baldesian Annex at once. Oshka awaits your arrival. Am I in trouble? I only ever get called to Charlene when I'm in trouble. In the meantime, I shall continue showing us dire the city. Lock in. From notable landmarks to the people's lives, there is still so much more for her to see. Okay. Pause. Pause, champ. Farewell for now, my friend. I look forward to the day we set forth on another adventure together. Yeah, I mean, your story's kind of wrapped, right? Yeah, I didn't even really think about that, but until as Daya grows, I guess, the story with Vashan is kind of done. Hmm. We got her back. We sealed everything up. Golbez and Zero are having a picnic, and we can't go inside. Yeah, it's all Mericidia. I mean, these are all kind. Of, I mean, he's kind of, they're kind of gonna be in a Hien role, I guess. We'll pop up when necessary. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I mean, it's nice when you've got a drag at your beck and call. I can certainly see some point with Astinian and um, Astinian coming riding in, right? Something like that. I could totally see that going on. Yeah, where the fuck is Lees, man? I know people bitch on Lease, but Lease is great, and I want to see Lease again. I do. I want to see Lease again. Lease was great. I I don't see why we've abandoned her. She got a really good role. She's a leader now. I mean, I guess she has to take care of her people, but like, I would like to have Lease around. A warm and hearty welcome to you, Floor. I gather you received our message. Please, wait here until I fetch the one and only- Oh, wow, what a tag team. Kryl and Graha. Graha back in the MSQ. Alliance raid done. Pogchamp. Ah, oh, no voice acting yet. Fuck you, game. Thank you for coming on such short notice. And forgive us for sending for you so soon after your trials in the void. To say nothing of your grueling battle against the Twelve. Yay, the game recognizes I did it. Excellent. Now then. We were to actually want to require your presence. But the, for some reason, extremely thirsty Erinville. He stopped by recently, you see, and asked us to reach out to you on his behalf. I imagine you're as surprised as we are, given that he was supposed to be on the way in a long expedition. Something must have necessitated a change in his plans. All he would tell me is that there's someone for whom he wishes floor to me. Oh god, it's about to happen, isn't it? Are we about to get furry? Is it about to happen? I, I guess the, the correct description would be thirst trap, Erinville. Erinville a thirst trap? That would be more appropriate, right? Considering the seemingly obscene amount of flooding that his presence causes. He also mentioned that we'd be tending to business at the studium. Shall we look for him there? How is he hot? <laughs> He's a rabbit. <laughs> I'm going to walk over. I don't get to spend a lot of time in Charlene. I'm walking over. I like it. Same way Lena is. Lena's a great character. I don't I don't want to 
I don't want to wake up next to a rabbit. I have, you know, and in a weird twist of fate, I have woken up with uh, a rabbit on my head. Emma used to keep rabbits. And uh, I've seen an abundance of rabbit shit. Rabbits can stay the hell away from me. That's all I'm saying, man. You had sex with a squid and you have problems with a rabbit. That wasn't canon. Vogue, really? You've not done the MSQ either? Slacker. Slacker. Aaronville's early Mike, return like has something to do with his visitor. Meow. Who could it be, I wonder? Hmm. I can't remember Aaronville's voice. Now then, where is Aaronville? And when are you going to finish Eureka? You've left me there, you know. Yay, he voice acted. Poggers. Don't get it. He looks like a shadow in the night. He's got a fine jawline, that's for sure. Apologies for the wait. I hope I haven't called you away from anything important. I chanced upon some commissioned items at my destination, so I thought I might deliver them. Where did you go, if I may ask? The New World. Tural. You went to Tural? Then the person who you wish to introduce... Aye, she hails from there. Oh yeah, here I we go. to you... Pause. <laughs> But it seems you've lost her. Did she wander off? <sighs> sorry, sorry. It's just so different here. I can't help but want to explore. Well, while you were exploring, your candidate came to us. This candidate. Is her. The adventurer you crossed the sea Shredded to abs. Ooh, you weren't exaggerating. It's plain she's no ordinary woman. I'm Wutlamat, claimant to the throne of Tuli Hyoilad. Oh, she's one of the people who wants the throne. Okay. Tuli Hyoilad. Well, la la la, yeah. It's Tural's governing nation. The capital bears the same name. I'll get to the point. I want you to come with me to my homeland. What's that accent? Given the magnitude of the request, perhaps you should explain why you're making it? <laughs> it's like an American <laughs> of course, Hispanic? Of course. Yeah, Puerto Rico. Soon, an event of great import will be held in Tural. The Rite of Succession. Taking the form of a contest, it will determine who next ascends the throne. Okay. That like axe is fucking As daughter chief. To its present keeper, I will participate. And I have every intention of winning. I was searching for champions to join me when Aaronville told me about you. A mighty warrior who knows no fear, who sweeps aside terrible fiends as if they were reeds. Who flew to the edge of existence and saved our star. It reminds me of that uh, Blackwing Larax, the Chronic Avenger. She asked who Eorzea's greatest hero was, and so I told her. Much more elegantly, I might add. Now you know why. You'll come to Toral, yes? Wait, let's all just slow down. Wuklamat, was it? You claim to be of the royal family, but is it not the Mamulja who rule in Tural? Tuli Hyolal is a nation of many peoples. Not only the Mamulja, as some across the seas are quick to assume. That said, its present ruler is a Mamulja, and one blessed with two heads besides. Nice. He's also my father. I gotta say, the Fem Hrothgars don't look as bad as I thought in person. He raised me as his own. I actually don't think they look too bad. 
So that is the way of it. My apologies if I was indelicate. Hardly. I know little about your land, and nothing about your parentage. Ah, but in my eagerness, I've gotten ahead of myself. I can't expect you to agree on this spot when we've only just met. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Just know, though, that if it's adventure you seek, you could do far worse than come with me. Starting on a positive note, come to the contest, eh? Hmm. No. This is only a rumor. But apparently, the contest will involve the fabled city of gold and the legendary beast, Valiarmanda. Valiarmanda. That Tell rolling me, R. Doesn't mm. pique your interest. Uh, you have, yeah, you have my complete attention. I'm down for that. I think people might have been expecting more beastly, but I again, I don't think people would have played it. <laughs> At a certain point, you do have to be like, are we putting this in for I... memes or for something people actually want to play? Dural has no shortage of unexplored frontiers and deadly fiends. You'll never want for excitement, I promise you. I advise you not to put much store by these rumors. Golden cities are not but a dreamer's fancy. Hmm. Is, it, is the idea and to the find the Golden City? Bent on finding one when he was a child. Just because you failed doesn't mean it doesn't exist. <laughs> Side-eyed. Side-eyed like a motherfucker. Okay. Just like <laughs> Erinville with the dirty side-eye there. Why don't you go fuck yourself, Regardless yeah? Regardless of what the contest may entail, it'll be no simple thing. If I'm to triumph, I only capable and dependable. All right, so you want us to carry you then? So you're like pugging people. I got it. So let's go on a hunt together. There's no better way to get acquainted. All right, she's come all. I mean, imagine how shit the fighters have got to be in Lolololol if they've had to come all this way to pug some people. Fucking Garbo. The I.O. score over there must be terrible. A journey to Taral. That's the long and short of it, at the very least. I ask that you go on this hunt of hers and take her measure of yourself. Okay. Can't do her voice. So where for the hunt? The stronger the prey, the better. The game is afoot. Uh, what job has she got? Is she a warrior? This is a, She's a warrior, right? I mean, it's not full Hispanic, so you can't lean into that full Hispanic uh, accent. It's kind of like an American Hispanic. I don't know. It's weird. The chance to not only see Tyrael, but the fabled Golden City besides. This is the stuff of grand adventures, my friend. Which is not to say you should hastily accept this invitation, mind. There's still a great deal we do not know. So let us begin to rectify that by first getting acquainted with our visitor in the manner she suggests. Okay. Haha, <laughs> kill things. I am not certain what might be a suitable location for her hunt, however. When I was at the guild earlier, I learned about a petition from researchers on the Isle of Ham. You weren't there a lot long ago. You called someone really fauna, of course. But according to recent reports, other ordinary docile fauna have grown savage. Kill some plants? It's believed that they've been unsettled by some manner of predator. And so the researchers seek assistance when identifying and dispatching it. As part of your hunt, perhaps you might have the petition. The isle isn't far. And we'd also be helping those in need. Yay! That works for me. Just so you know, I've honed my skills against some of the fiercest beasts in Taral. Whatever this creature is, it had better be able to put up a proper fight, or it'll be end before we have the chance to get acquainted. <laughs> and before 
before we could prove ourselves capable and dependable companions. My apologies, but I must see some preparations. Oh, shit. Yo, she's going switching jobs. She's off to switch jobs. Pray, go on ahead to the aisle. I'll join you as soon as possible. You know, you don't need to... Oh, I bet she left a soul crystal. Sag. If the rest of you are ready, let us head to the harbor. This being guild ship business, it should be simple enough to secure a vessel. Yeah, she's got to go buy some dyes. Exactly. She needs to go glam up before she turns up. I could, I'm down with that. I assume every single man child over Tural is going to die. I've saved the world many times. In fact, I would say FF14 is a place where I earn redemption. Right? That seems fair to say, don't you think? Bitrate in ruins. Can't wait for Dawn Trail. There are definitely... If I had more RPG choices, I think it's fair to say a lot more people would be dead. But not as many as you'd think. Having said that, there's a lot of people who are dead in Baldur's Gate 3 who I really haven't intended to die. And are dead. Uh, so, I mean, mistakes happen, right? In the... In, <laughs> in the arena of war... There's casualties every step of the way. Casualties every step of the way. In fact, has anybody seen that, uh, the best sci-fi film, at least that's what they're marketing it as, uh, of the decade, called The Creator? It's not. It's not. Have you watched it, Chris? Have you watched The Creator? What? It's the best sci-fi film of the decade. It came out over the weekend. Oh, is that the thing with, like, the little boy? It is the one with the boy. Well, it's a little girl. Did you, did, have you seen it? I have seen it. Did you like it? I did not. Oh. It had some really cool tech in it. <laughs> it had a lot of good explosions. Lots of good explosions. Yeah, it was a, it was another twist on racism. Ah. Yes. I see. Yes. Yeah. The uh, problems of AIs and the AIs just want to be friends and I, I did kinda of wanna think, so hypothetically Hypothetically. Let's say you had the choices that you would say have in Baldur's Gate. Yes. When you started a realm reborn. Oh, who well, would, be dead? would be dead? Uh, would be dead. Uh, Alfie would be dead. Uh, yeah, if, if, if I could choose, yeah, Alfie would be dead. Ida would be dead. I'd never have got Lise. I would have definitely killed Ida. Yeah. Uh, Papalimo, earlier than intended. Yeah. <laughs> would definitely have been a thing. Uh, Thancred I wouldn't have murdered, but I would have ditched. He would be Will. Right. Yeah, Thancred would have been a will. I would have been like, I am never taking you anywhere. Go fuck yourself. Uh, who would be my party? Alizé, Yish. Yeah. Uh, it would have started... Okay, if we could Baldur's Gate 3 party it, it would have been Alizé, Yish in the initial one. Um, ooh, that's tough. Yeah. Shit. I guess by default it's Orianje. Yeah, but I don't. But I like of the dislike, he was higher up the dislike list. Because mm. uh, Alfie definitely not, Thancred definitely not, Ida definitely not, Pappy definitely not. Would you have taken Minfilia? I think Minfilia would have been like uh, unable to join the party. But if I could have, I would have taken Minfilia. I would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would have done that. Um, that would have changed though. Like now, I would have dropped Yish. I would probably now in Endwalker, I would have had Graha, Alize. Fuck, that fucking third slot. Pain in the ass. Uh, I would never drop Yish, by the way. I would drop Yish now. Uh, yeah. No, not Estinian. No. What? I'd probably have brought Alfie in at this point. I mean, that's fair. An Endwalker, yeah. Yeah, i probably... By Endwalker, I think it would have been the Twins and Graha. Would have been my team, I think. I think it would have been that. Yeah, I think I would have brought Alfie in by Endwalker, I think. I prefer Alfie now to Thancred, Orion J, and Yish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yish needs to do something. I would like... I mean, I know we, people have asked us to do a video on this, and I need to do some notes for it, so I haven't really thought it through yet. 
Yish needs to, for me, kind of grow out of her snobbiness and arrogance that she's got more of these days. She feels a lot more arrogant and short with everybody than she used to be. Uh, and she's also kind of become a bit of a deus ex machina. She just, like, solves massive shit occasionally. She's kind of like Uriange was in Stormblood, where he's like, oh, and then he just solves some... He, he, he's so unique that he can solve some massive dilemma very, very easily that everybody else is struggling with. Yeah. I, th I feel like her time is coming. Like, there are certain characters that need a revamp, right? Okay. Quick notepad on this to refresh myself. Uh, very quick. Like, Uriange's story is complete. Right? Uriange's done. So he either needs a new arc or needs to uh, take on a lease role. I mean, he's kind of done that. Now I think about it. Uriange has kind of stepped back from most things, right? He, he like, in Endwalker, he kind of goes and chills with the Loperits. Um, he's not really doing much other than he kind of stations himself somewhere and he's not really actively part of anything. And he's been that way for a while. I would say Uriange is the least active sort of scion these days. Right, his story is done and complete. We had the full wrap up with Moonbreeder. So Uriange either needs a new arc or he needs to just take a full step back, uh, which he kind of already has done. So, that's the thing. Thancred is done as well and has been done for a while. So, Thancred probably needs a new arc. Because his arc really heavily revolved around Minfilia and Reen. That's kind of done. What the fuck did Thancred do in Endwalker? I can't even remember. He was like the first to go. Like, I mean, we could claim he created Ultima Thule or whatever. But, like, somebody had to fucking do it. Uh Uh, yeah, the stealth. You mean? Yeah, he, he did do the infiltration. Yeah, because we had that, that we had that Estinian Thancred party, didn't we? Yeah, I mean his story, his story arc. The main, th the Thancred story arc since his introduction has been Minvilia, right? And he's had that resolved. That's done. So he could, he needs something else. I mean, these are characters that need a new arc or to drop back. Now, oh, in fact, though, I think... Ah, oh, you see? Now now my brain's going. Reed's got to become a big deal very soon. I think we're all kind of agreed, or at least sense that's going to happen. Reen's, Reen is going to be a very big deal pretty soon. I think that's where we're going. You guys not get that vibe? I really think Reen is, is going to be a big deal soon. So, thank Red will probably come into that somewhere. Uh, I don't know. They haven't made people do the Eden quest series yet, right? That's not been a part of anything, is to get Gaia introduced to people. And there's been no mention of that happening for Dawn Trail. It's like, um, have they ever had a separate way of introducing a character? Like, is it possible for them to just have Gaia show up and Reen introduces her? Yeah, because remember the Crystal Tower? They made people go back and do the Crystal Tower story, and then they baked it into the MSQ. But Gaia is from a raid series of quests, which is different. Mm. Yeah, she shows up in the MSQ if you've done the raid. What I'm saying is, could they, or have they ever set the precedent that Gaia or someone similar to her who exists in a separate storyline shows up in the msq and they give you probably a brief introduction as to who she is if you've never done eden graha didn't they make you do the crystal tower before shadowbringers or did they just bake that in after shadowbringers or during the shadowbringers expansion no no they didn't okay so there is there is precedent that they could have gaia show up later I really do think Reen's going to be a big part of whatever's happening. Like, if you go with Chris's idea, if you haven't seen that video with our Dawn Trail predictions, uh, that Solution 9 is again... I mean, we've had so much happening with the crossing of all the shards, right? We basically... They're really... 
it's kind of ridiculous how much that can be done now across the shards without like just blatantly allowing people to travel to them like as as easy as teleporting right like we could we could send bluetooth faxes email phone calls energy we could do everything across the shards like with relative ease at this point except actually just you know walking to and from them like through a stargate or whatever uh, I skipped the Bahamut raid and Alizé showed up in the MSQ. Alizé, that's a good call. Yeah, if you don't do the Bahamut raid series, or coils, I should say, Alizé just shows up. And I don't think they've ever made it so you have to do coils. She is introduced in the MSQ first, though. You meet Alizé without having to do coils. Like, she's at the beginning of the game. At the very, very beginning, like the opening scene, in fact. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's introduced beforehand. You meet her when Alfie can't stop doing fun with flags like Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. Loves it. Yeah, I think Reen's got to be a, a bigger part of the story going forward. I think Reen and Beklug and all those characters are going to be a part, a big part of Dawn Trail. I think they're tied to Solution 9 in some way. Uh, Estinian. Uh, to be fair... Estinian hasn't had a major arc since Heaven's Ward, but his growth is always incrementally good, is what I would say. His major arc is Heaven's Ward, and that has become incrementally better and better and better. Cause you, you get the silliness with him not understanding money, uh, money and stuff, but like him riding dragons and being like Mr. Dragon Boy has come a long way from his original, uh, original things. So I think Estinian's actually... I would say, I would like, I would genuinely like uh, a good story arc of Astinian in some way. But he really is kind of the muscle. Cool muscle at that and shirtless muscle. I would like a good story. I'm not, I can't say I'm story invested in Astinian. I like Astinian being around and I like that he's like the enforcer. So if there's danger, he kind of comes along. If, uh, you know, he thinks there's going to be a fight or you might need protecting. He, he does take on that sort of guardsman's role very well. But I would really like a good story with Estinian. The thing is, it's really hard to retcon in stories now for people like him. You know, the, the long, the, the situation that he's never told us about or something like that. So, a new, fresh situation. And this is why, uh, obviously, me and Chris's predictions of Draw Trail is very different. Is I think the the fun of Dawn Trail, if they go that way, is to start splitting and causing internal strife within the, the Scions, which they hinted at, but Chris thinks they'll downplay it, and rightfully so, I think. Uh, I don't think they want the, the player base to struggle with a moral choice of their favorite Scions. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, I would like that to happen, but I don't think it's... I think just for the sake of not upsetting people, because... As much as I'm okay with it, and I imagine a lot of you here are okay with it, people having to choose between Estinian or Alizé or whatever, or their favorite person, Reen and Yish, you know, if they were on separate sides or whatever, I think people would, like, be in tears. <laughs> or not, I'll just not play the game. I think some people are so very invested in the uh, the MSQ and their favorites and stuff like that. I think people would like break down if they had to make that kind of cho choice. I think so. I think people would be in pieces if like their favorite Scion was on the other side of where they stood. But I still think it'd be really fucking cool. <laughs> I think it'd be really fucking cool though. Uh, <clears throat> now they refuse to kill. I mean, yeah, the plot armor is really strong with the Scions. Um, which I, I genuinely am happy with. But Astinian, I would like a fresh art. I want to know more, is what I would say. I want to know more about Astinian. Alizé and Alfie's story is always ongoing and great. It's really good. Uh, I mean, now they are... We're at the point where Alfie could probably do with leading something again. I think he's probably in that position now. He's learned a lot more. He's just dealt with Garlemald. Alizé now supports him. Uh, and she, she sees the strength in her brother. And what he could possibly achieve. So the twins, I think, are doing well. And this will... Uh... Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll, we've got a good story arc with Alphano and Alizé. He's divided at first in A Realm Reborn. It's different approaches. They want the same end goal, but different approaches. 
Uh, they did the same all the way up until Shadowbringers, where they split off to deal with things in a different way. Then in Endwalker, they, you know, they have that really lovely conversation in the train station where she sees the strength of her brother and she will support him. She knows she's not a leader. You know, she's too quick to anger uh, and out to stab and, you know, too pride, proudful, I would say. You know, Al Alfie's more willing to accept help when it's needed. And she will tell you, I'm fine. Leave me alone. I can win. Uh, but as a team, they're really good. So I think Dawn Trail is going to be great for those two in general, especially because it so seems to have more of a political angle. Dawn Trail, good shit. Good shit for these two. I think they're I think they're in for a really really strong story in there. Uh, Kryle is being revamped, so that's fine. Revamped, and was always awesome. So uh, good shit. We, we've got good shit for Kryle. That's good. Graha is just overall good shit. Uh, he just had a really good story with the twelve. Uh, and his, um, I would like, I guess as a side note here, I would say, would like more, uh, context is the wrong word. Um, I would like more, I would like not references, but more points of view, I think, from his actual age, because Graha is in that weird Doctor Who situation where he looks young, but is actually ancient. And to have that aspect of it. I want more of that part of his character to shine through. Not just Exarch moments, but him to... He comes across more or less in the MSQ as it stands now as being kind of the, the youngster. You know, he falls asleep on the... He's eating the tacos... He falls asleep like a student outside with his books while he's having his apples and his, his little juice juice box. But he's actually like an ancient kind of dude, right? He's actually like a king. Uh I would like him to see more wizened. Yeah, I want that date. I want I want him to be more like David Tennant. I want that more David Tennant approach, which is like comes across as young, and then when he gets fired up, when something's going wrong, you're reminded. This guy is actually fucking has seen some real horror and has been around for a really long fucking time and has dealt with this kind of bullshit for a really long time. Um but I would I totally expect someone to enjoy their youthfulness at the same time. Uh their physical youthfulness, but their brain and their mind is is much more uh, ancient. So I would like to see a lot more of that out of Graha. But overall, Graha is good shit. Like every time Graha's on, we're happy. Uh Yish, like we said earlier slightly less matoya <laughs> that's how i describe it slightly less slightly less i think too often yish kind of comes across as a uh the deus ex machina and um uh a little obnoxious i think she comes across as a little obnoxious sometimes uh, uh yeah I think she started to come across, at least to me, it's just a little obnoxious on occasions uh, in instead of being the mummy. Yeah, I would like that. Uh, who are we missing? Anybody? Yeah, a lot of these older characters need an arc that isn't just like, we're really, we just solve this problem. Uh, I mean, Tataru's got everything she needs. The black, She's got the sweatshop going. She's got industry set up. She's manipulated people across the realm. You know, she's got a finger in every single pie. Tataru's doing okay. She's doing okay. She's uh, the Hancock of the Scions. She's doing all right. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we want big returns. Right? So we, who's going to be the CM Punk? Who's going to turn up and destroy the fucking house with their presence? Well, obviously, Lise, number one. Uh, Brosetsu. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nero is always welcome, obviously. Nero is always welcome. Uh, yeah, Kryle's going to be good. Hopefully it's not just this intro. To I mean, worst case scenario with Kryle is they have her show up, like, probably shortly as a Pictomancer, and that's it. Uh, I, I don't think they're going to use Gaius again. 
I don't think so. I would like to see Gaius again. Um, I, I I don't know if it's because they had that voice actor as well, because that can't have been cheap, right? They had uh, what's his called? Ram not Ramsey Bolton, his dad. Uh, they had a very famous voice actor do it. They could change that. Yeah, they had Roose Bolton's voice actor, which is always a risk, I think, with games with so many voice actors. If you draft in, somebody who's probably very, very, very expensive. His story is done as well, but he's also... He is the old soldier you could call upon. Uh, I'd like to see Fardola and Hot Wheels back. I would like to see for uh, Yagiri. I couldn't give a fuck about Yagiri. Uh, I couldn't give a fuck about Yagiri. She's great, but she falls into that he end box for me, which is like I could take her. Yeah, Yagiri's all right. I don't really care. Like if they did a good story with her, I'd be interested in it. Uh, yeah. I need a story. I need something to invest in Yagiri instead of just being like the uh, the the bodyguard of whoever she happens to be near at the time. Yeah, I mean, uh, and uh, the RK out out of nowhere, the real stupid like the the real fucking surprise that's going to melt people's brains is obviously the return of Fan Daniel, just off the top rope out of nowhere. Like, you just don't expect it whatsoever. You turn a fucking corner and suddenly, boom, Fan Daniel just rocks it up. Right? Just fucking rolls up. Comes flying out of nowhere. Well, Xenos is doing his thing, right? We've got him embedded in the scythe and blah, 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 blah. Teleji had a leggy return arc. <laughs> he had his basically will. Yeah. I mean, we could, but it'd be mean. You see, this is the real tier list. Fucking Jordan has no idea. Characters I couldn't care less about. If they show up, cool. If not, meh. So that's Hien, Yugiri. Um, I tell you, I would like to see in the big returns. Actually, I would like to see Emmerich rock up again. I love Emmerich. I would love to see Emmerich again. I don't... Uh, Emmerich kind of gets a fucking... Uh, Emmer, Emmerich just hasn't done enough since Heaven's Ward. And when he when he shows up, it's awesome. He, I think Emmerich in the game carries like such an air of authority with him. It's like he rocks up with the entire church behind him and he's about to fuck shit up. There's, there's certain... Like, Hien... I can't respect Hien. I, I just don't see him as a leader. Sitting on his mountains, fucking having a little pray or whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, that goes without saying. Like, she's glorious. But I think her story is kind of wrapped. I think Nanamo's story is good for now. But she's she wields such power and influence. It's like Milwib, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we could do with uh, Kanye, whatever. It's always kind of cool to go and see Kanye and then leave. Get out of there, right? <laughs> I like Kanye. I like her a lot. Like, uh, as you know, I, I said many times, her, her backstory, her written backstory, is so much better than her in-game story. Like, her written backstory is fantastic. The Battle of Cartano is so good, but in game, <sighs> she's whatever. You know what I mean? She's she's just whatever. She's fucking garbage. Mass Rose joins the MSQ. Yeah, Kanye the Rock. Uh, do you think the do the tank Endwalker roll quest and you'll have more? Oh, cool. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, Isale, Isale returns. That would be an, uh, that would be one of those, wasn't it? Uh, let's give her a proper name, Lady Iceheart, out of nowhere, imbued insides of uh, Ashdaya, imbued inside of Ashdaya. It's Lady Iceheart returns again. Lucia's like a side character, just like Lena, who, if she shows up, it's awesome, but she's not a big deal. Like, he ends supposed to be a big deal. I f Do you get what I'm saying? Like, Lena and Lucia and all these characters are side characters, like Eulis. They, they turn up, it's great, but they're not the forefront of stuff. He end was like a leader, like a big deal, you know? We storm the castle, we do all that kind of stuff, we return him to power. He's supposed to be a big deal, but I really don't give a fuck. 
Yagiri's the same. She was like a big deal of a character, but eh. Kani Senna is like a big leader, but eh. Yeah, like Maxima. Maxima's great, but like he's not a main character by any means. We don't pretend he's a main character. I guess Fardola and Hot Wheels fall into there, but I would like to see these return. Like Lease is a scion. Like Lease should be doing something. Gosetsu is an honorary one. Nero is always around. You know who I've not mentioned? Sid. What the fuck was the last thing that Sid did? <laughs> Yeah, he built the Ragnarok, right? Yeah, he just tends to show up and just build his things. I preferred, and I forget his name now, I preferred the Lala in, um... I preferred the Lala who did all the fuel and shit. That guy was awesome. <laughs> that guy was fucking legit. That guy was so good. <laughs> I prefer him to Sid. I'd like to see them working together or something like that. That guy was a bro. That guy was a turbo bro. Yeah, 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 he was great. He was really cool. He, he made me laugh more. Sid kept showing up whenever we needed something building. And then he's just like, oh, it's Sid's here now. And he's built the thing for us. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, yeah. What about Mango? We need Mango back. That's what I'd like. That's quite a lot of characters who... I don't know. I feel like their story's done for now. Arianjay's kind of done. Bankred's kind of done. Estinian doesn't really have anything going. His, I mean, his, his character was done in Heaven's Ward, but he's, he's still growing in a little way. The twins have got the best story right now. Hmm. Uh, Raban's kind of done as well, though. Like, we've had that full send-off with him and Nanamo. Like, it was it was heartbreaking and horrible, but we've had that done. Yeah, Kryal's going to come into her own now, but instead of being this sort of, like, damsel in distress and, and brainiac whenever we need her... Like, the biggest story she had individually, really, was getting trapped in the pod by Xenos, right? I mean, she obviously had Eureka. Um, mm. If I think about MSQ and what's Kryle done, she tends to be the one who stays behind and reads the books. Reads the books. Yeah, I mean, this is the time. We're, we're coming to the brand new story. So if they've got good stories for these, this is the time to do it, right? We've introduced Zero. Uh, Chris thinks Zero isn't going to be even be in Dawn Trail. I kind of think she'll pop up at some point. Um, so uh, whether, uh, it'd be interesting if they do put Zero and Golbez to the side for the entire expansion. Where do you guys sit on that? Do you think she's going to show up at all before the next expansion? Uh, and I, that includes, like, the pre-expansion quest, right? So the actual MSQ. Do you think she's gone? No zero at all. You think completely gone? Yeah, yeah, okay. I think she's gone for a while. I think she will show up, though. I, have a, I think she will rock in. Uh, would you check out JFB Golden Suns uh, as a Switch? Uh, probably at some point, but not in the near future. Uh, I think that's fine as well. Yeah, yeah. The Ardbert uh, comparison is really good. It's have Ard, you know, we had the the dark, the Warriors of Darkness show up and then just disappear, uh, and it was fine. Uh, long enough to forget about them. That's always nice. Long enough to forget about them. I like that. Can't miss you if you're always here. Uh, I think they'll find a way to travel between reflections of the new city. Yeah, I think so too. That's why I think I think Dawn Trail generally is gonna be pretty focused on introducing some stories for these. Mainly, no, I actually think they're gonna bench Arianje. I think it's bench C. I think Thancred's gonna get some love. Uh, I'm probably involving Reen. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, I think Reen's gonna be kind of a big part of Dawn Trail at some point. Uh, the twins. I think they. I hope they don't divide the twins. Early in Dawn Trail. The twins have just come together properly to help each other. So we'll see. You want me cooking my own notes now? Everybody's cooking. I've had so yeah. many fan theories sent to me over Discord in a lot since we released that video. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll save it for a video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's there's lots that could go on. Okay. Yeah, let's see where this takes us. Um, okay, let's go. I think it's too early to divide the twins. We only had them really show support for each other in Endwalker. That's only really happened then. They've worked together. But to actually, like, openly 
connect uh, and vocalize that. That's only happening in Endwalker. It's too early to divide them up. I, like I said, my prediction, if you didn't see it, my prediction for the twins in Dawn Trail is that Alizé will be torn between which side to go on and she will choose the side of a brother over her initial sort of maybe less mature instincts of going a different way. I'd be cool to see that. Uh, I think that might be an interesting storyline, but we'll see. Kryle was acting a little strange, don't you think? This is just a simple hunt. I wonder what preparations she needs to make. She's got to get a brush out, pal. We had the loan of a ship from one of the captains. A cheery fellow. I can operate the vessel, so we don't need much him to take us. Cool. So we have a ship. <laughs> and I've barely set foot on dry land. Oh well, I suppose it's for a good cause. A hunt. Come on, let's get going. About boarding ship. Oh, we're getting loads of cutscenes. Yay, it's been so long since I've seen this message. From here, we must walk. So much ice. It rivals even Yoktural. Ooh, a white bear. I wonder what it tastes like. Right? I like her. Remember, we're here to deal with creatures that have been deemed an unacceptable danger. Do not attack anything else unprovoked. I know. I know. So this is the aisle where ether literally bursts forth. Aye, the Isle of Harm. The geysers lie deep inland, however. You really are knowledgeable. Kona told me nothing about I this want place. her and Turbo Elephants to have a beer. I doubt your brother managed to come out this way. He's like to have toured facilities like Labyrinthos, however. The great big cavern under the city. It's amazing that they could make a sky down there complete with a sun. This brother of yours, he has been to Charlian. He has. Kona's my second older brother. And until recently, he was a student in the city. He went on and on about technological amusements. It made me want to come here too one day. And so I did. I think I understood something of how he felt when I set foot in his beloved studium. He went to the studio? Your brother must be quite a scholar. Do we know the brother? But I wonder. Like you, he'd be royalty, yes? With such a personage coming to Charlian to receive an education would surely have caused a stir, yet I recall nothing of the sort. Oh, tell me your brother's full of shit. He consulted with the head of the studium beforehand that his identity might remain secret. Oh, his girlfriend goes to another school. Got it. Being Mikote, he had no trouble blending in. He's adopted like me, you see. One time, though, he almost let it slip to a professor. It was all he could do to parry the barrage of questions. Having no shortage of questions myself, I can imagine. Ask whatever you like. I don't mind. Plot to Eskraha as a brother. Hunting together is the best way to get to know someone. The researchers should be up ahead. Let's find them and learn what we can. You would think, though, but he's been mind wiped during the ether battle. Oh, duty commenced. 
Your eye level has been six, six, six. Yay! Just they just gave me gear. Perfect. There, the building to the northeast. So ordinarily harmless creatures have grown savage. Classic. All right, who's tanking? Oh, no, I assume you are. You're a warrior. Get on it. Take down any that thinks to try me. Right. Let's hunt our field. Uh, do I remember how to do this? Probably not. Uh, what did I have for the frost? Is it blizzard? I can't remember my key binding for blizzard. Uh, it was. Hmm. Yeah, I need my paradox up. There it is. There it is. I remember. Look, Kill the sheep. Someone's in trouble. Yeah. Oh, we got to murder all the sheep. Yeah, baby. These animals are usually so docile. Not today. It leave the sheep alone? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Thunder. Thunder. Where's my uh, big pyro bomb? That's what I want. Foul. It's a single target one. Yes. I remember. I'm going to run out. No. Oh, I should have just despaired there. It's all coming back to me. Yes, thank you. The hard-pressed surveyor. Oh, thank goodness you've come. I take it you're the one who answered our petition. Wait, aren't you? You are. Floor. The adventurer who saved our star. Whether that meeting was under better circumstances. I was conducting a routine inspection of the transports here when I suddenly found myself surrounded by sheep. You'll find more of the same across the chasm. Once docile animals grow strangely aggressive, my colleagues there can tell you more. If you'll give me just a moment, I can finish checking our equipment. Sure. Oh, don't worry. If you want to cream your pants really over min-maxing, we haven't played a black mage in a very long time. But you can say it's painful, my brain hurts, and for blah, good blah, reason, blah, 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 blah. As you'll soon see for yourself. We <laughs> quite an interesting contraption you've got here. Is that our petitioner? Let's go and have a chat. Sure. If you've come to answer the petition, you should speak with my co okay, sure. The adventurer come to answer my petition. <laughs> yes, I'm here about the petition. We are most fortunate to have one of your considerable skill here to aid us. A creature of unknown origins has been slighted, uh, sighted on the island in recent days, and we believe its presence has affected the local fauna. The animal is beyond this gate, so the worst affected. Hmm, we dare not go back. Your task is to quell any threats you find and search for traces of the beast responsible for all this. If you should find anything, anything at all, we are most grateful if you would share it with us. Sure! I'll handle this. I'll handle this. Hold still. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. Apparently. Come on. Let's pick up the creature's trail. Any sniffers? You find ravaged beast remains, torn to shreds by sharp tongues. I've seen their like before. <laughs> it's starting to feel like a proper hunt. I guess. I mean, it's all a bit friendly. I don't see anybody, like, charging us around and giving us coordinates. How large do you suppose it is?
Oh, a birdie. You find feathers scattered around the ground. There are signs of a fierce feathers. struggle. But did they belong to the feathers. predator or the prey? So, how do you prefer our prey? Roasted or raw? You presume it's even safe to eat? I mean, it can't be that big or we'd have seen it, right? Oh. The cloying stench of fresh leavings assails your nostrils. Whatever beast left them is likely still, still close by. Whatever this beast did, it cannot be far. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Do you suppose they're upset we disturbed their home? I have no idea. Maybe. Who knows? Is this a new one? If it is, right? For a fight, then they've got one. These aren't the beasties. We found. we found poo. What do you mean? That wasn't the beast, was it? All we did was find poop and flat fucking feathers. wings and razor sharp talons <laughs> worthy prey oh <laughs> big parrot that is a beak what is that thing it is a giant parrot Oh, thank God it's not a giant worm, though. That would have been worse. It's heading towards the falls. I'll stay with the researchers. The creature, I leave to you. Come, Wuklamat. <laughs> right. What was that? A little too spooky for her? She doesn't, maybe she's scared of birds? Just so we're clear, I wasn't startled by the beast earlier. It caught me by surprise, that's all. Uh-huh. Forgive me, but I fail to see a difference. Oh, called out. Get fucked. I'm getting hungry. Let's be done with this so we can eat. It's trolling her. Okay, you're getting trolled by a giant. <laughs> <Think you're clever, laughs> huh? I'll rip off that beak and roast you on a spit. <laughs> Getting super trolled, I like it. Alright, let's do it, gamers. Talk all you like, bird. I'm going to have the last laugh. Sure. Oh, I'm going to enjoy sinking my teeth into you. Wind unbound. Gonna knock me back. Yeah. 
One heal. Oh, she's getting hard trolled. She's not happy at all. Oh, yeah, she's getting bullied. Not the pecking fury. Where are we going? Look out. Oh, I moved after. Snapshot. I've never seen such an annoying such lies. Lies and lies and heresy, I say. Not good. On me, okay, team. Gather together. Ew. I've got you. Bit of a death grip. All right, all right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Very nice. Do, do not make me go through the whole thing again. There's no way. I want a, That was ridiculous. Are you for real? Oh my god. That is outrageous. That is actually outrageous. Oh, I'm going to enjoy sinking my teeth into you. That is some seriously ridiculous shit, that is. Ah, shut up already, you blasted bird. I can't believe how delayed that was. That's crazy. That's nutty. Outrageous and poor. Such an enormous colibri. Uh huh. Yeah, we've never seen one. It's all good. It's all good. We'll allow it though, eh? Not good. Quickly, gather together. Are you gonna come and stand on me or what? Hey. I've got you. That was completely outrageous. I was so far out of it. Steady now. All right, I'm over here. They can't get me here, right? Fucking ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Fucking scammed. Damn it. I'm watching the swoop now with like spread out everyone. I mean, I'm you're my rune, dude. Who pay for that? Oh God! <laughs> Wait, am I to help? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm on it, dude. I'm on it. I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. <laughs> Great.
Graha, I want help or what? <laughs> Graha? Graha? Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my god. What do you mean, Mike? Please! Graha did nothing! I also thought they'd broken out and were moving away. Right, now we win. Talk all you like, bird. I'm going to have the last laugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. All you're having nothing but herpes for breakfast. Like That's all you're do. having. Some bullshit in this duty, that's all I'm saying. That was outrageous. What? That was outrageous. It was outrageous. Look out! I've never seen such an enormous colibri. Well, that's good for you, isn't it? That's really cool for you. We're happy for you. Tell us more about it. Not good. Quickly, gather together. Tell us more about it, pal. I've got you. That was too close. God, I swear to God, I thought that was going to hit Steady me again. Now. I actually thought that was going to hit me again. I've been so mad. No, no, dude. Why is the fucking? Why is that so fast? What in the fuck is going on with that? I'm losing my fucking mind. I'm losing my fucking mind here. I would have had to run through another meteor to get out of that already. Alright. We're going to have to game now properly. This is ridiculous. Talk all you like, bird. I'm going to have the last laugh. For this stupid fucking bird boy. Oh, I'm going to enjoy sinking my teeth into you. Fucking bird bitch. Yeah, ah, shut up already, you blasted bird. Too fast. This can come up in the next race to world first. That was fucking... That swoop is immediately after that. Look out. Okay. I've never seen such an enormous... I don't me. care about your fucking bird, dude. No one cares about the side of the size of the bird, okay. all right? Quickly, gather together. That, was too that swoop takes two and a half weeks to go off. Birch knife, Steady fuck now. you. I don't care about your fucking bird dude party parrot. I don't care about your fucking bird dude party parrot. <laughs> Are you just being bad, Toe? Do you need a link to a guide? Just dodge Burge. Three to zero squawk, three to zero squawk. Right, I'm going over here. Grey anate wipe, panate wipe, grey. Hi, Milky. Hi, Mike. This is the me. rat. Nice to see my bed. Oh, my Shred God. Stop. Fuck you. Three see, to zero. Now, if anything happens, it's on you guys. Walk. Hello, Mike. Hi, Mike. It's me, the it's bird. Me. Get, the bird. Fucked. Get fucked. Get fucked. Jesus Christ. Since we've seen this part before. 
Can we read some donations? Tell us more how you got to the Thank end of the duty. Oh wait, you can't keck. Burge skill issue rock. Burge skill issue rock. Skill issue keck. Squawk. Hi Mike, it's me. The bird? Fuck you. A birch is just a flying rat jam. Walk three to zero, walk three to zero. Go on, switch to very easy birch. Just go easy smiley face. Birch eat shit noob. Hi Mike, it's me the bird. Squawk. Squawk skill issue squawk. Cast! Oh my god, they're gonna die again. Thank you. Just getting started. One tank. This is outrageous. It's so quick, dude. The numbers don't lie, Mike. It's three to zero. It's gonna get me again. I need to move. I've got to fucking take this. Get out of here. I'm now, like, actually fucking paying so much attention to this stupid fucking bird. It's now got to ruffle feathers. What is that? Flies into a fit of rage. Huh. That was hardly a tickle. Can we AOE these? Top thirty percent new best call puck. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I doubt we have to kill these together, right? Try this. You defeated despair itself, and yet a pigeon is defeating yeah, you? Enjoy. Pathetic. Thanks, small Zeno's bro. Have you now, you loud mouth bastard? Okay, you're getting aggressive, but sure. Throw everything you have at it. Have we got a limit break? Limit break would be cool. This man wants to do an ultimate. Good luck. One year, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Die, 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 die. We made it, guys. We got past Burb. Great success. That was some nasty I've shit never in seen that. A colibri that big. We got past Burp. We're, we're, we're greatly successful. The bird is. Hold. And I had barely limbered up. Shaking. <laughs> <laughs> She's got DTs. It was a terrible foe. But no match for your axe. She's terrified. O only to be expected. You were pretty impressive yourselves. We've got some bravado going here. Hunt. But what a curious bird that was. Though we have similar in Tural. They don't grow so big, or use such dirty tricks. Dirty tricks? Dirty tricks? <laughs> Aye, dirty and despicable. Otherwise, I could have... easily... Leave this to me. Oh, here we go. How about you? Get moogled, bitch.
that it? Okay. I am terribly, terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. She arrived as I was seeing the researchers to safety. It was all I could do to keep up with her after I explained what happened. So this is what you meant by seeing to preparations? After hearing of the contest, I thought, how wonderful that was kind of a to join you. Relatively weak introduction, so Pixmancer. In coming here, I wanted to demonstrate my skill at arms to Wuklamat. Alas, it seems I missed most of the action. <gasps> that was amazing! The piece didn't stand a chance! Yeah. I'm glad to have okay. been of service. May I ask what inspired this change? You will recall the time you descended to the Ethereal Sea in search of Hydaelyn. Recognizing that my skills were... inadequate, I chose to provide support from afar, rather than join you. It was the same when you set forth for Ultima Thule. How it pained me to stay behind again and again. That's what inspired this change. Ever since the final days were averted, I've used every spare moment to hone my craft. Ah, oh, Rocky montage needed. As you all have adapted your methods to suit the circumstances. And this is what I you went with. <laughs> okay. considering how I might best contribute. And after much deliberation, I arrived at my answer. Uh, okay. <laughs> With the esoteric uh, See, by the look at me now. Archon realm, Pictomancy. As I recall, you have embraced versatility to effectively complement a certain someone's style. What I do is much the same. Like you, I don't want to be left behind. <laughs> Indeed. I must say, you appear to be especially keen on being involved in the ritual of succession. Is there any particular reason? Yes, there is. This letter from Tuli Yolal. <sighs> Terrible name. It was addressed to my grandfather Galuf and turned up among the students' archives. The ink was faded, so I couldn't fully make out the sender's name. A uh, Galul, someone. Jaja. Galul Jaja. That's my father, Idan's servant. What does the letter say? While much of it isn't legible, it appears to be a request to investigate the Golden City. A request to investigate the Golden City? Hmm. From the Dawn Servant himself? To you. Well, well. Seems it may be more than a rumor after all. Okay. Yeah, to her dad. It's Being just, a uh, member of the royal family, it was my hope that you could confirm... I wonder the if there's some ties to Kryle and the letter. grandfather to the royal family or line of succession itself. Considering it's part of the trials to ascend. I can say for a fact that my father didn't write this. Given how culturally diverse Tuli Yolal is, it was decided some time ago that a common language was needed. But instead of elevating an existing tongue and its speakers above all others, we look to those widely spoken overseas 
and created an altogether new one. Jesus, that sounds inefficient. The similarities to your common tongue also make it quite easy to communicate in these situations, no? This letter, however, is entirely in Aorsian. If father had written this, he would have been in Turali. And what's more, it bears a wax seal. We don't bother with them. <laughs> Fair. So the letter is fraudulent then. Scamboozle. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. My father's signature is genuine, as far as I can tell, so perhaps he simply dictated it. Maybe. I see. Oh, thank you for the confirmation. Or maybe there's a Jafar to the Sultan. my grandfather indeed had dealings with Tuli Yola. I can't help but be curious as to what exactly he was doing there. In order to help us decide on a course of action, would you mind if I asked you some questions? Always with the home? FF14 story. There's, there's more than meets the eye, always. By all means. After all, learning about one another was the purpose of this hunt. We can talk while feasting on this fellow. I, for one, am starving. Ooh, KFC for dinner. We're eating that. That's yeah, a bird. Some of that. Got some brine going, some fucking fry that bitch up. Yum yum, baby. Thanks to Wuklamat, we now know who sent the letter to grandfather, among other things, but many questions still remain. Well, I mean, we don't know. Maybe it was dictated, signed. Interesting. I understand Kryle's feelings all too well, and desire to do one's part. It can be daunting to try and keep up, but nothing will change unless we take the first step. With the wildlife pacified, the research is safe. Our task is complete. That just leaves the matter of the Calibri meat. For better or for worse, there really is only one place we can take it here in Charlian. The last stand. Come, let's just see what Dickon can cook up for us. Dinner time! Yay, dinner! Hmm. Well, I assume this isn't the end of the MSQ, or maybe is it just, uh... I mean, I think we're about to agree to go to la 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 Man, I'm really underwhelmed by that Pictomancer intro. I like the shoutouts to Realm, but still. Hmm. Kajix, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. If we hadn't had the uh, FanFest introduction, I think I would have been like, ah, oh, okay. Sure. Well now, there is a famished face if I've ever seen one. What can I get you for? KFC, bag and bucket. Oh, bird meat from me, aren't you say? <laughs> Leave it to me. Have I got the secret herbs and spices this baby needs? It's a new dish I recently learned from some sailors. And for you lot, it's on the house. Have as much as you like, yeah? Yeah, Graha. Oh, look at that. Mm, oh, that looks awesome, come, actually. Come, Let's enjoy the bounty of our first outing together. That looks awesome. Yes. Yes. Mm, I'd heard that Charlayan cuisine was terrible, but this is fantastic. What is this? Oh, it smells. Spicy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Aaron Vella's white bread through and through. Oh, come <sighs> now. Since when did you become so soft? It's not like we don't have spicy food in Tural, too. Yeah, you want some vanilla ice cream to wash it down? Fucking pussy.
According to Dickon, <laughs> intensely hot dishes have become popular in Radha <laughs> after a traveler ordered a curry with several times the usual amount of spice. No one pretends a tikka masala is spicy, John. So he started offering the same in order to please the growing Harnish population here in Charlian. <laughs> it's nothing I can't handle. I like her. I like her a lot. Your boorish manners reflect poorly on the both of us. I wish you would consider your thinking. Fuck you! I hate Aaronville. I swear, sometimes it feels like you open your mouth only to criticize. Yeah, tell him. Go fuck yourself, Aaronville. Would I be correct in assuming you've known each other for a long time? I thick as thieves since we were little. I beg to differ. She is a long-standing acquaintance. Oh, Nothing they fucking. More. They fucking. He's about to give her the old Juracell. I see. I see. He just keeps going and going and going. All this time you were from Tural. Oh, would that I had known sooner. There's so much I'd like to ask. You and everyone else. I've kept it quiet so as to avoid the endless interrogations. Well, if he's going to be a miser, I'll be happy to tell you about our homeland instead. It was a Duracell bunny, right? Not Energizer. Am I wrong? I, I'm not up to date on my Since battery marketing. times, many peoples have called Tural home. And they've been fighting each other for nearly as long. The fighting finally stopped some 80 years ago. When the reigning Dawn Servant unified the disparate communities and founded a new mm. nation. The and king in the north. How Tuliolal came to be. Indeed. They had a Mans Raider situation, eh? Since then, we've enjoyed an era of uninterrupted peace. But my father is getting old, and he wishes to relinquish the throne to a worthy successor. One who can preserve his legacy. Including myself, there are four claimants to the throne. But while we all have the right to participate, one among us cannot be. Oh, the evil to... one. Barry. Piece of shit. A man who is too ambitious by half. Barry Tomlinson. Word of the Garlean Empire's collapse has reached Tural. While most are simply relieved, he sees weakness to exploit and would lead our armies across the seas on a campaign of Please conquest. say it's Nero. <laughs> After everything His name my is father Nero has done to give us peace, he would drag us back into war. I can't allow it. No matter what, I must win this contest. I understand your reasons. But this being an event that will dictate the course of your nation's future, is it appropriate for outsiders like us to be involved? God, audio desync. Hold on. Me fix. Oh, it's more than appropriate. The Dawn Servant himself expressly encourages it. The ruler of Tural must navigate the intricacies of myriad cultures, and there's no better way to prove oneself qualified to do so than to work with foreign allies. That's why I sought you out. Through our hunt, I've confirmed that you're a warrior of considerable skill. Thank you. But more importantly, one shot the bird. One of good character as well. And so I ask you, will you lend me your strength and help me win the throne of Tuli Hualal? I don't know who the other candidates. I need all more information. I'll come and assess. Yeah? 
You just bought one fourth of the equation. You don't need to decide right this moment. But I will need you if I'm to triumph over the competition. I'll stay here as long as I can while waiting for your answer. In that case, allow us to. Why are they keeping the name of Tony, uh. of Barry Thomas in secret? Kind of you. There's someone we know, isn't it? Oh, and one more thing. Once we finish eating, would you mind if I took the rest of the meat? <laughs> If it's nobody we know and it's a full Snoke situation, that'd be so sad. Who could it be? Who might have traveled to a different island? Okay. Oh, okay. I'll put it down now. Fiverr. Oh, you are Fiverr bet? It's Xenos and a mustache. No, no, no. Who could it be? Like Xenos and a mustache and a poncho. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? My name is Juan Zenosa. <laughs> I have traveled to this island to lead you to war. It's someone they've known since they were kids. Yeah, and it could be any race, because it's... It can't be somebody... Aaronville would tell us if it was somebody who was involved in sort of the Endwalker situation, so I think we need to go back further. I mean, it could just be someone we don't know. Yeah, it could be, but that's boring. It could, yeah. How are we supposed to make a video with a shocked face and question marks, Chris? Will you fucking get your head in the game? Every big question on everybody's mind is who is the mystery behind It could be it could be anyone really. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Yeah. That's true. Hmm. Lollarita. I'm thinking someone a Realm Reborn. I would love if it was in the Oh heavens ward. I mean there's not many characters that are like super mysterious in their background and have since I don't I don't think they need to be super mysterious. It could just be somebody who sought power back in the day and then left. It's still edgy on a ledgy. Uh, it could be uh, Lollarito. Who, who's the one that's still alive? Lollarito. Lollarito's still alive, isn't he? It could be Lollarito, seeking out the city of gold. He wanted power. We had the old Uldar situation. But Erevil would have told us, I think. It, a Tataru makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, a Tataru fits this jigsaw puzzle very neatly. We should do a skip. Yeah. It could, it could definitely be Tataru. I don't think... Find out. Hancock, Hancock is a shout. Uh, Hancock, Hancock wouldn't lead war. I don't think Hancock's got that in him. Uh, I don't think so. He's still edgy's bottom half. Hot Wheels? Oh, God, can you imagine? <laughs> Aronville ropes, ropes out. It's the Tombry King. Yeah, Hancock's not somebody who goes to war. Hmm. Papalimo's ghost. Jeez, Raban's arm. <laughs> what if it's all of those things all stitched together? You've got Teleji's bottom half with Raban's arm sticking out of it. You've got all these kind of bits all mixed together. Ilbert? <laughs> yeah, Pog. It's, yeah, it's some sort of Frankenstein's monster working all together. Judging by Wuklamat's reaction, it appears Tarali cuisine isn't excessively fiery. Hmm. Well, Wuklamat has the makings of a ruler, I couldn't say. But I do know she does care deeply for her nation and her people. Whether you choose to help her, though, is for you, and you're alone to decide. Think on it well. Now then, it's past time I reported our mission's success to the guildship. I would have done sooner, except Her Highness needs to have her royal meal. I shall come by the annex later. Till then. Uh, not least, I don't think. Uh... God, if it's Lollarito, that would be hilarious. It's probably, I mean, it probably is a red herring, but still. The coming dawn. Well, I dare say we now have a fair grasp of Wuklamat's situation. Still. You've been afforded time to consider her invitation. Why not use it to learn more about Tyrael? Noman is bound to have some information on the continent. Hmm, sure. Oh, we can look at the poster after. Let's finish. Edda? <laughs> Quite right. Not only would it help you to make an informed decision, but if you do choose to go, you had better be prepared for what awaits. 
Come, my friend. Let's just be off to the archives. Oh, Graha loves a good book to read. Don't you, pal? Oh, libraries! Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. It's the ginger kid. I can't remember the ginger kid's name, but yeah, maybe. No, not Reen. Yeah, if we assume it's not just some rando and they're just not telling us the name to speculate. Rowan is undies. It'd have to be someone pre-Stormblood, I think. Uh... Yeah, new new character is fair, I and mean, well, that's also boring. Like at least for current day speculation, because we have to wait till summer to find out. Beavis, Hildebrand would be a good shout. Yeah, yeah. The God of Mankind. Oh Jesus Christ! The Emperor turns up. Oh, it's another like original Emperor, wide shoulders and all. The whole business. It's always frustrating when they keep one little piece of information away from us. That's going to be another shard of a Zem from a new reflection. <laughs> it's Hermes round fucking 12. The return. Our boy Hermes is back. It could be somebody we know and trust from the past who's uh, been slighted by us. Or feels slighted anyway. The origins of blue magic can be traced back to the esoteric practices of the Wallachy, a tribe in the distant continent of Tural. The tribe holds nature in the highest and is seeking to cultivate a spiritual connection with it. They have learned to harness the power of the wildlife around them. In exchange for teaching them the common tongue, I was permitted to live among them, train in their ways. Those days were some of the most grueling I remember, but they were tremendously rewarding. For instance, I had the privilege of visiting Lapis Canyon, the tribe's sacred grounds. It is so named for the cerulean deposit that wells up to the surface, turning the entire canyon a brilliant blue. Under a shaman's watchful eye, I finally managed to master the Wallachie's art and make the animal's powers my own. As no name existed for it in the common tongue, I took the liberty of naming it Blue Magic. The reason I chose this color, as you have doubtless gleaned, it's for the significance it holds to the Wallachy. I cannot think of a name more fitting to honor the people from whom this noble magic was born. Oh, Yeah, we got some blue lore. A primal? Oh, God. I don't know about that. History, geography, botany. The public archives alone should suffice to provide a solid grounding on Tyrell. I mean, Nero... Uh, would Aronville know of Nero? Hmm. Or know that we know Nero? No, he said to do it. I mean, they've known this person for a long time, right? It feels that way anyway. It's impossible to adequately discuss the Eorzean cuisine without speaking of the land from which many of our modern-day staples hail, the far western continent of Tural. Ogre pumpkins, ruby tomatoes, even the ubiquitous popoto, these crops and more that regularly grace Eorzean dining tables trace their origins to New World, as the place is known to most. The tale of this culinary immigration begins in the year 1498, with the Sixth Astral Era, when a Lemonson sailor named Ketanram successfully traversed the Indigo Deep to arrive at the theretofore unknown continent. Ketanram spent several moons exploring inland, in the course of which he encountered the denizens of the sprawling nation of Mamuljar. He was even granted an audience with their supreme leader, whose confidence he won along with permission to roam freely. Katamram would return to Tral several times, but during his first expedition, he charted the land and gathered myriad root vegetables and seeds to bring back to Limsa Limsa. The most notable of these was the Popoto, whose ease of cultivation and nutritional value saw it quickly spread to all corners of Eorzea. Produce was far from the only bounty of Katamram's expeditions to Tral. Many tantalizing recipes, such as the bean-filled burrito, and gripping legends, such as that of the Golden City, reached our shores by way of his ship. To those outside of Ketanram's circle, Tarar largely remains shrouded in mystery, though its influence on our cuisine cannot be overstated. Many scholars, myself included, would relish the chance to immerse themselves in the culinary culture of that faraway continent. Why couldn't people go there? 
excluding that the expansion hadn't released yet. They were at war, but they've been at peace for quite some time. So why if um, our lady just took a boat here? It's far away. That seems like a pretty weak sauce reason, but I'll allow it. You think scholars would have made such a uh, long trip? Every land has given rise to unique wildlife, and the continent of Toral is no exception. Yet while some of her creatures have become a familiar sight in Eorzea, many are more exist that are rarely seen this side of the Indigo Deep. This tome introduces a select variety of species, as described in the testimonies of sailors and adventurers. Alpacas. Ugly fucking creatures that nobody should like in any way, shape, or form. Yet, for some reason, see people see them as cute. Their soft white fleece is highly prized by weavers. While their strong legs and sure-footedness makes them capable beasts of burden. Wyvers. This ferocious scalekin is native to the dense jungles of Toral. The mammals Jar have succeeded in taming them and utilized their prodigious strength for manual labor. Given their immense size and power, it should come as no surprise that the wyver is also employed as a siege beast. Enemy fortifications cannot long withstand this horned brute's rampage. Valigamanda. Turali folklore holds that this bird-like creature is the mightiest of beasts and the very embodiment of nature's power. Whether it exists beyond myth, however, is uncertain. Hmm. Uh, boss mayhaps. Maybe that's what scared uh, Wook. A big bird. Don't like big birds. Alpacas are disgusting. I have really no clue why people like alpacas. Like, actually fucking gross. They're awful looking things. Like, in person. They always post these cute ass pictures of them, but in person, they are some rancid ass looking creatures. For real. Let us begin by comparing the geographical characteristics of the three great continents in Toral. The former stretches from east to west and lies entirely within the northern hemisphere. In contrast, the latter extends to the far reaches of both northern and southern hemispheres and a difference immediately presents itself in the form of climate variance. Shifts in climate tend to be gentler when moving east to west, but harsher when moving north to south. Owing to this fact, longitudinal migration is far more common in history, whether it by men, animals, or plants. A case in point is the Alligans, who rose to power in Aldenard before advancing east into Ilzebard. Their movement would be mirrored thousands of years later by the Galeans. Meanwhile, although the disparate tribes of Tural waged war with one another for generations, stymied by the climate, none could make any great headway north or south. Tribes hailing from the frozen lands withered beneath the desert sun, while those who thrived in open plains could not pierce the dense jungle. Such was the way of it, until the leader of the Mammal Jar succeeded in bringing the continent under one banner. Given the land's divided history and the reason thereof, one cannot help but be in awe of this feat. Truly, it is a testament to the Ostark's greatness. Hmm. I've been seeing a wide selection of books related to Toral. You are somewhat better informed about your potential destination. Grahel be eager to know. Okay. Uh, you think I'm confusing alpacas and llamas? Nope. There are alpacas in pretty much every uh, petting zoo in our local area, of which there are many. And they're gross. They stink. They're disgusting. Their faces are all messed up. And they chomp away and they're gross. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. They're gross. I have uh, been around many, many alpacas. They spit a lot. Yeah, they're disgusting. They're awful. Scoured the library to your satisfaction, have you? Excellent. While there are a few books wholly dedicated to subjects of Toral, I dare say you found tidbits of useful information scattered here and there. But come, let's continue this outside. The mammoths do not take kindly to chatter. Their faces are all fucked up. They're all fucked up. Are we voiced? Mayhaps? No. Okay. Now then. I'm quite keen to hear your honest impressions. I couldn't help but notice that we read the very same book on cuisine. I was pleasantly surprised to find references to Torah within. Among them, did you find in anything in particular to pique your interest? Uh, yeah, I like the tale of Ram. actually. That was good. I don't care about the City of Gold. I like Ram bringing all the information back. Good dude. Good adventurer. Ah, yes. 
a renowned Luminescent explorer who traversed the Indigo Deep and discovered the Unknown West. And his accomplishments didn't end there. He travelled to Rahal extensively and even forged a friendship with the Dawn Servant. If we were able to meet Ketanram, what things we could learn. Alas, all of this happened nigh four score years ago and he may no longer be alive to tell his tales. We don't know if he's dead. Huh. Interesting. How would we not know if he's dead? Was he off on a journey or some sort of adventure? Moving on. Did you perchance learn about the fauna of Tyrell? Given your adventuring background, I expect the topic would interest you. Uh, I learned about the Valagramanda. Well, what uh, race was he, though? Some of these live uh, very long, right? Why do I get the impression you're imagining pitting your skills against the fell beast? Unfortunately, I found scant details on your would-be prey. One source simply described it as enormous winged creature with scales hard as steel that rules the skies. I should like to see it with my own eyes, presuming it even exists. I thought I heard familiar voices. Hey! What up? Fancy running into you two here. Well, well. Have some research of your own to do. Aye. We hope to arm ourselves with knowledge that may benefit the Garlean people. Having forged a new trade agreement with the Rads at Han, they next look to foster relations with other nations. This includes former Imperial provinces. In view of this, we hope to find hints in history of how neighbours of differing races and ideologies might engage with one another. Well, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe where we're going that's right alongside that. You wouldn't believe it. And what's of the two of you? What endeavours brings you here this day? I assume we're getting the whole gang together. Ariadne's there, isn't he? He's in the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. A nation composed of the disparate peoples of Tyrrell. I dare say this is precisely the kind of example we seek. Exactly! What fortune! Oh, serendipity smiles on us all. We'd do well to read up on the Tuli ourselves. The contest. Is Flo the only one allowed to help with Clamat? There's no mention of such restrictions, as I recall. On the contrary, Uglamat gave us the impression that she could have several champions. <laughs> Alizé immediately up for a fight. <laughs> yeah. Giggity. I think I know how to make the most of our respite. Follow me, Alfie. We have planning to do. Uh, Alizé, wait! <sighs> it would seem our plans have changed. If you'll excuse me. Yeah, wait a minute, though. There's still at least... All right, we know they've said there's one bad person, but there's still two other candidates. They could never rest on their laurels. Come, let's just return to the annex. Just because Wuklamat is representing the new, like, character race, I'm not siding with her just, just because she's the one who came here, you know what I mean? I want to hear all the cases. For all I know, Wuklamat seems all good and then suddenly you find out she's racist. A leaked audio comes out. Something comes out behind the scenes. Cancelled immediately. You never know. You never know. We're dealing with like the upfront marketing style Wuklamat. What if she hates dogs? I can't vote for someone who hates dogs. I can't trust someone who's, like, putting down dogs. That's not happening. What? It's just, despite all that we've 
Shit. Sorry. Misclick. What about you, my friend? Are you inclined to accept or refuse Wuklamat's request? I, I mean, it's way too early to decide. Ah, I'm still undecided. I don't blame you. No matter the assurances, it's no simple thing to wade into the midst of a political struggle. And in a foreign land at that. How about this then? Instead of deciding here, go there first and then decide. I'm yeah, I'm on board with killing some people, but I want to kill in the right name. New lands and meeting new people, you'll surely find a way forward. That's what adventurers do, is it not? Such a journey would be the envy of many a scholar. Distant as it is, Tural remains largely unknown to us, with only meager records to be found in Numenon. The experiences to be had. All the things you might hear, feel, and think. You it's said enough the thing. to stir me to the core. Life is a series of journeys, my friend. And there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. See, this is more like the Graha I want to see. This is wisdom. I like it. This is good. But what's important is to be true to yourself. As this you is what we wanted. Doesn't sound Only like a young man now. Can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Ah, but there's an idea. I have a matter to attend to at the Agora. Please, go on inside. I will join you shortly. He's not going Viper, is he? Are we just respecking before the expansion? I mean, it is what happens, right? You, the, the guild puts out its list. Who's what's... Oh, God, here he is. Fucking pervert. If anyone's going to be jacking it in a tree, spying on people, it's him. How is it king shit? He's our friend. Why doesn't he come and say hello? Am I the only one who finds it fucking weird? Imagine you're out and you're chilling and you turn around and you see your fucking mate hiding behind a tree. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> right? That's not weird. I'm not wrong here. That's fucking really weird. It's super weird. <laughs> it's super fucking weird. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm having a watch. I need a piss. I need a piss before Thancred spies on me. What's this? Okay, what are you sending me? Fan theories? Oh, shit. O-Tone, you fucking legend. Maybe. No way. I'm at work. I'm not in the stream, by the way. Okay, got it. Hey, Bex. Would you lucky here? I, okay, Boris would like to once again present the Lalafell experience of this cutscene. <laughs> Can't see anything, okay. <laughs> Can't be seen by Thancred. <laughs> you 
know, maybe take the hint that not even the devs, right? Not even the devs. Uh, not even the devs can fucking <laughs> fit Lala's into it. Right, let me have a quick pee, dudes. Be back in a sec. Holy shit, that's funny. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> okay, gamers. 
We've still got a couple members of the crew to meet. Ah, welcome back, Flo. If you're looking for Wigglebat, she's currently with the others in her chambers. Oh, she's got a bedroom. Oh, we're going in. I can fetch them. Oh, they're coming down. Okay, yeah, yeah. Fetch everyone. Understood. Please wait. I have to wait like a poor. What is this emote? I don't know. <laughs> what is this emote? I don't like it. <laughs> Where's Thancred hiding in the fucking plant pot? You have the look of someone who's made up their mind. Go on, then. Let's hear it. I'll come with. Ha ha ha. Mind. Yes, I will go. <laughs> Excellent. You'll be compensated for your troubles, of course. But I dare say your time in Turov will be its own reward. You're not planning to leave without us, are you? They've got the voices in. Good shit. They've mostly been doing all the dialogue for Dawn Trail. Wonderbar. Alpha no, Alize. What are you two doing here? We happened to cross paths at Numenon earlier, you see. And I told them about Wuklamat. I don't want to engage. And when we fortuitously met again at the I don't I don't trust now, this Wuklamat character. They expressed an interest in meeting our visitor. I like her, but there's more to the story. Ah, you must be the twins who are sneaking after Erinville's toads. She also strikes me as a bit immature to be a leader. A hundred things about us you could have told her, and you chose that. First impressions last. It is an honor and a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Your Highness. Alphano Levier at your service, and this is my sister, Alize. Oh no, let's not do that. I really can't stand titles. So, you want to participate in the contest too, is that right? Indeed we do. We've been assisting with the rebuilding effort in Garlemald, yet while progress is being made, the question remains of how the nation might reconcile with its neighbors. We believe there is much we might learn from Tuliolo, a nation founded on unity. And in return for this honor... This is where we find out that no Papa made some really egregious game. deals with all these fucking different uh, tribes or whatever. The merrier, I say. And I'd be keen to learn about Eorzea and Garlimald from you as well. Having recruited so many committed and capable allies, I presume you have no need for my continued assistance? Nonsense. Like I told you before, you're indispensable. They're strong, aye, but strangers to our land. They need someone to guide them, to point out the dangers and spare them grisly deaths. And the girls really like having you around. Better suited to that task than you. What's more, despite your assertions, I know you haven't given up on this city of gold. Such Kryl. Why? <clears throat> As I recall, Kryl, you were the first to. Oh, she didn't think, think she was getting invited. You gotta be more assertive, Kryle. Perhaps I was. Oh, clenched fists. Still, I can't. That brush is in worry trouble. About being away, just when our order is beginning to find its feet again. You have nothing to worry about. I have.
haven't forgotten how you held the fort while I set off to explore Alzadel's legacy. It's only fair that I return the favor. Pray, leave the students to Ojika and me. Yeah, but he's definitely coming, though. But, Ra. We must call him later, eh? Beep, boop, boop. You want to retrace your grandfather's steps, don't you? This is a rare opportunity, and I insist that you seize it. So maybe we're getting half the scions at first, and then the rest later. Thank you, Raha. Thank you. Well, looks like it's settled. I'm counting on you all to help me win the throne. But you also don't want to over bloat with characters. I suppose now is a good time to show you what I spent a small fortune on at the Agora. Oh shit, Tataru's gonna be pissed. How much? Fucking hell, Grara, why don't you come see me? There. This, my friends, is the latest map of the world, created to celebrate our friendship with the Loperitz. Cast your eyes west of Charlian, for there it lies. The site of your next great adventure, Tural. I could have a jam. We could jam. That crunch just got me stowaway on the ship. And that's the end of Endwalker. Hmm. Strange old expansion in two halves. Yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Got a lovely picture of Peter Brammel. Lovely little pick. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm guessing Thancred's got a stow away and he's been keeping an eye on us for quite some time for some fucking reason instead of coming and saying hi. You know? I'm guessing that's going to be the play. So, we're going to get Rianje, Graha, and Yish later down the line. Probably when something starts to be uncovered. That's fine. The fact they got so m oh yeah, I was gonna say this is so many different voice actors for the Loperates, but Beth and Cullen they did them all. <laughs> did several. Uh, Stinian will probably come later as well, right? We haven't seen a Stinian either. So it's more like uh, a bit of the com combat focus people will be coming later. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not buying... Uh, I like the character. I like Wukla, Matt. I think she's a good character. She doesn't strike me as a leader. She's fun. She has. She's been put in a position where she needs to do it to stop the mystery man. 
or whoever it might be, the mysterious person. Who are the other two? That's going to be the question. Who are the other two? Because only one of them apparently is not uh, suitable. Oh. Bow down. Did they say Makote was her brother? Not another person. I don't think Asin's are going to be involved at all. Yeah, they, that's her brother. And she seemed happy with her brother. I don't think that. I don't think that brother's going to be. Uh, the brother could be one of the other two for sure. Yeah, I'll check the poster after the credits. What's this? Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Just because she said second elder brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be very strange for her to not bring up, though, that it was her, her brother is another contender, right? Considering it's divided into so many different tribes or whatever, different nations, you have to imagine it's a representative from each nation. Got to be. Her elder brother is uh, royalty. I mean, I get they want to keep it vague. It just seems an odd thing not to bring up as my brother's also going for it. You know what I mean? I don't know why Thancred's being sneaky. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea. Why would Thancred be sneaky in all this? I oh, don't smile like you know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't Heaven's Ward. <laughs> like, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. We know all the answers. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're in the know, and you stupid strummer don't know the answer. You have no idea. Mm hmm. Our beach episode is in political debate. Yeah. Four claimants likely all adopted. Wooka Scholar, Brother Matt. Um. Imperial Sandy, the last one we know nothing about. Possibly. Possibly. I kind of thought they would try... Uh, my my brain goes to having somebody from uh, Remember, each Frank of the different areas. Remember, special client in the post 6.0 MSQ. My guess, probably one of the throne claimants in opposition to Wachlamart. Yeah. Uh, is this the thing? Okay. You think thinking the Viper is probably going to... I mean, that's us, but... Yeah. You want an evil person to be a Namazu? That would be kind of spooks. You gotta reveal Aaronville as one of the brothers. And there could be more to it with Aaronville. He keeps trying to not join in. You know, he keeps uh, pushing to. He almost doesn't want any involvement in anything that um, Muklamat wants, right? She's all for it. She loves him. She wants him to be around. He keeps pulling away. Can I go now? Can I not be a part of this? Uh, the lady at the top, we don't know yet. I hope this isn't the big bad, even though they've painted him that way. This this is the ambitious character, because, yeah, we don't know who that is. You think that's daddy? You think that's papa? I mean, we have to choose her, right? It's the only thing that makes any sense. We have to. Uh, oh, is that his second head that's like shrouded? Hmm. I mean, that says a lot in itself, doesn't it? That says a lot. Yeah. 
Yeah, she did say he had two heads to boot. Hmm. You think that's the leader of Solution 9? The second head is Raban's arm. It might be like Total Recall with, uh, was it Klaatu or whatever he was called? Got to reveal it. It's like an abscess that's attached to the side of his head. <sighs> what if it's a fake glued on head? Could be. Could be. Could be. Yeah, well, could be. of course I've got to let the credits play, man. This expansion was fantastic. It was fantastic. Open your mind. We don't know who the girl on top is yet. As far as I know, we don't know. We don't know. Yeah, we're going to check Hildy out and, of course, uh, catch up with Tataru. I'm, I'm actually so happy there's a Hildy part coming. I think they've set it up nicely. A little bit of mystery as to the fourth person. A character who doesn't seem fit for leader, but feels ha that has to. I kind of like we're only taking half the Scions. I think that's a good decision. You know what would be interesting? If somebody else visits... And approaches the other Scions in a similar vein to Wook, right? And the rest of the Scions show up later on behalf of another entry. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? It's like they rock up and they're like, hey, what are you guys doing here? Well, <laughs> we've, had, uh, we've had a visitor as well. We've had somebody else coming. Yeah, she was terrified. She was absolutely... I got... That's the impression I got, is that she was terrified. Absolutely terrified. And she was trying to put on a brave face to recruit uh, companions to help her. But she was absolutely terrified. I think that would be pretty cool if uh, the rest of them show up later. But Thancred obviously knows something, because he's been spying on us for some fucking reason, like a creep. Which is very weird. A bit of a scaredy cat. Ooh. You should write that down. It'd make a good story. Yeah, it's all flowing in there of different ways of doing it. I mean, I suspect they've just got a 1-800 Scions at some point. Is it that way for Thagred to be skulking behind a tree? Yeah, to his friends. Yeah, that's weird. I think that's weird. Now, if RJ goes down the road of, like, keeping secrets again for the greater good... Nah. Nah, I'm not doing it again. We've resolved it. He said he's changed. He's, he's done it. It's over. We're not going down that fucking road again. Maybe Thancred's already been approached, so he's being neutral. Oh, Thancred's heard... Thancred's already been approached, and he's heard something about Wook that's... not right. I mean, we know Wook's hiding uh, a true feeling, so there's. it's very possible she's also concealing uh, several important pieces of information, for sure. Yeah, I agree. Like, uh, even if Thancred was, um, had just turned up and let's say he just wanted to listen in because he's a bit of a creep and a spy at heart, he still should have approached later to say, hey, I'm in Charlie and what's going on, guys? Who's this new person? Great to see you all again. You know, friends who have saved the world with and all that. But he didn't. He stayed away. And it, it could also be Squeenix and Yoshi P smirk. Bait and switching everything. And he had a he had a dentist appointment at the same time and didn't have time to say hi. You know? Unlikely. 
Unlikely, but could have very much been that. Oh, you know, has got to approach the other half. Morning, my quick, 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 bad guy loses. Was my official first weekend as a legitimate business registered business in the US. Hey, congratulations, man. It's a nice feeling when it got official. It's unfortunate, though, because then you're on the eye of the tax, man. Giving the old stink eye, but it is nice when everything's official. I still have my letter of when uh, it became a businessy. Got my certificate. If you have a business, I keep it up. Maybe he's shy because he wasn't invited to the raid. Thancred is prone to possession, though. He doesn't have the strongest of minds. He is prone to manipulation in one form or another. You know, he hasn't got the greatest history. It, hap it happened once, it can happen again. Cheaters are cheaters forever. Are we agreed? Once you make that, once you go down that road and you've justified it with your mental gymnastics. Once you get mind controlled, you're mind controlled. That's it. You're part of the game. This dumpster. <laughs> Agreed, murderer. <laughs> I haven't. Oh, this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's not going to change, though. Is that in one episode? Yeah. So it, if you look at the search bar at the top. Uh, we were wondering why drama time get, kept getting demonetized. So Chris pulled up the transcript of how many times I said fuck. Uh, apparently one episode is 445 times. <laughs> but, uh, you know. <clears throat> would we really want a watered down drama time? You know. To be play I mean... The nature of the stories kind of gives away to that. <laughs> the nature of the stories kind of doesn't help with that, you know what I mean? Hold on, let me blow my nose. There we go. I, I am intrigued now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm totally intrigued at where we're going in Dawn Trail. I still Only would like to see the Scions divided properly. Fuck. If the Scions were divided as they appear to be now, they've kind of put all the... Oof, besides Yish. Right, who's the Scions teams right now? Hold on. So, let's suppose they separate them as they are now. So, team one is Twins, Kryle, Graha. Uh, Scions-wise, that's it, right? And then team two... Is Yish, Yuri, Thancred, and Estinian. Yeah, of course we're there. Um, no, no, no. I would say we're not in there. We're going because we have to as the player to go into the new expansion. Otherwise, it would be fucking hilarious if we just get reports that like they're having a great time in the new zones and we're farming hunts back here. Um, this is not... Besides Yish and maybe... Stinian. I don't think this is a bad divide for people's general affinity towards certain scions. Also notice, you know what's really interesting here? And obviously we did this before we played this, so this was not pre-watched or anything. Everybody who kinds of needs a new story is in Team 2. Everyone who we said was progressing is in Team 1. The twins doing well, Kryle doing well, Graha good shit. They're all in team one. The characters who we said, Arian J needs a new arc, Thancred needs something, maybe with Reen, Estinian kind of want to know more, and Yish slightly less obnoxious and Matayarish is all in team two. Yeah, team two is also the old scions that are looking for something new to go into. Kind of weird that it turned out that way. Interesting. That is interesting. Hmm. Yeah. These have a lot more room for fresh development, and these are these are progressing. If they, you know, like story-wise, these are still on their road and still progressing their story. These need something new and fresh to go into. I just think this, it's kind of funny that it turned out that way based on uh, what we, we thought the Scions would do. 
Oh, what I would like to have seen the Scions do. I don't think this would cause a community collapse if a player had to choose between them either. I guess the question is, is there anybody here, like out of the, you know, few thousand that are here or whatever, who is sad that a certain character, certain character may not be in the forefront of Dawn Trail's release? I'm okay with it. We're getting the twins, we're getting Kryal, we're getting Graha. Assuming these, let's, you know, if we work under the assumption these are coming later. I think most people are probably okay with this. Yish, I, I mean, I want Yish to change a little bit, so maybe something will happen there. I mean, Yish would be the only one I would be like, I would, I, I wish Yish, you know, Yish was there. But only because I want to see her kind of change a little bit. Hmm. The Warrior of Light is a must-have, right? That's the player. So the player has to go along regardless. Uh, and also does not need to align themselves yet. What if they divided four ways? I can't see that happening. I mean, it's a potential three-way. Four ways are tough. How do you divide your time? Four ways are tricky. Yeah, because you can pair off and it doesn't really work. Uh, hmm. Uh, I would like to have uh, new Avengers type of old and feel the team's one or two oldies. Yeah. My brain is just awash with what they could do here. I, my favorite so far of the suggestions that I think we've had is that Team 2 is contacted by somebody else, one of the other candidates, and has a strong case, and they arrive separately. And then this team's like, well, no, like, Wuglamat is doing anything, is doing this and this, uh, we don't want this. It depends if the other three are all good dudes, which I suspect they're not. Like, they've pointed at the fourth guy as being bad news bears but if the other three are better uh, or the other two are also like decent and good and perhaps better hmm i mean i'm not sold on wuklamat i'm not sold i'm not sold i think it's been the first case of royal light where he loses <sighs> me mean chris talks about this quite a bit is there are obviously choices and things you could do in stories. But ultimately, like, FF14 is played by millions of people. And very invested people, certainly into the story. And I do feel like the plot armor that exists around the Scions is there are levels that they would probably like to do in the story that they wouldn't do because it would just upset too many people. I, I'm not sure any company is ballsy enough to really push that uh, situation. Even if you know, and we talked about this, like even though I know as a gamer this probably resolves in some way, and it's fine, it's not a big deal, then, and I want to enjoy the story, there are people out there who won't see it that way and would just be genuinely just really upset. Like, that's not what they would do. Even if in character, it totally makes sense. Um, I Yeah, I like the main character losing. I don't like always being the god. It's nice when Xenos kicked our ass. Although, uh, I mean, I still think the best... I still stand by this. Uh, I mean, Jordan talked about it recently. Uh, well, a little little while ago now. Uh, is the, um, the Thancred versus Ranji duty is still the best demonstration I've seen of the player trying and failing. I thought that was uh, um, so magnificently done. Um, if we, uh, Certainly if you put it side by side with your first encounter with Xenos in Stormblood, which is just trash. Like, you're just like, okay. Thancred should have died in Shadowbringers. Fight me. Unless they do something better with the character, right? It just feels like a lot of those characters are lost in limbo now. Which is fine. They can retire. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, I feel like Uriange is essentially retired for the moment. And has been retired for a while. He's very, he takes a back seat in a lot of things. 
I want to see a scion die. Not because, lol, 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 we're just killing people for the sake of killing people. But as it stands right now, I don't believe any of them can die. And that takes a lot of the... Um, it takes a lot of the tension away. It takes away that um, fear. It takes away that... Um, that the stakes, the stakes are just lower when you feel like, well, they can't die, right? Uh, that's why the Endwalker disappearing act just didn't do anything for me. I know for some people it did because they were like along for the story, even if the back of their heads they knew they were coming back to life. Uh, but for me, it's like it didn't really do anything for me. And I was like, well, this isn't going to be a thing. They're going to come back later, so it's whatever. Uh, hey, Watch, how you doing, buddy? Thank you so much for all the work you're doing with Bex right now as well, man. Thank you very much. I want that uncertainty. I do. I want that uncertainty. I like that uncertainty. And I've I felt that's been lost for a while after um after after Thancred survived in that fight. I was like, oh okay, these guys can't really die. <laughs> There's none of that. Not that I particularly want to see any of them gone. Like I see I think people always get some people always get upset by this. It's like, oh, you just want to see him gone. Not really. But I want that tension in the story. I would love that tension. If you were gonna kill anybody, who would you kill? Uh... <sighs> um... Not Thancred. The moment's passed. I don't think it means anything now. He needs a bigger story build-up before they move on from Thancred. Um... It would probably be Yish. It would. It would probably be Yish. As sad as that makes me, it would probably be Yish. But, as Chris has rightly pointed out, Yish is the face of so much of the marketing for FF14 that it almost feels like impossible. How many times has she survived when she should have died at this point? It's like five. Right? It's something stupid like that. It's it's ridiculous. She survived so many moments that she should have died. And she's not. The twins, no. Kryle, no. Graha, no. Uh, I don't think it really means much right now if Arianje dies. I, I don't think that suits what should happen to him. I, I kind of see him retired as a scholar and maybe even ascending to something like the next Watcher. I think that would be a really cool ending for Arianje if he ascended in some form to become an eternal Watcher or, you know, some sort of role like that uh, where he's... You know, the Loperates, like, put his brain into their mainframe and Rianje lives on forever as some some sort of creature like that. Some sort of, um... Some sort of everlasting, uh, mental... role. I, I kind of see Rianje going that way. That's That sounds like something Rianje would do. Uh... Yeah, not to turn into a mech at some point. <laughs> Certainly not to turn into a mech. That's not the intention, is Mecha, Mecha RNG turns up at some point, powered by Nero and Sid. They've built Mecha, Mecha RNG. Zordon type character, something like that. That would be kind of cool if he uh, did pass away. It's kind of like, uh, crap, my Guild Wars 2 names have escaped me. Uh, shit, what's she called? The the young one. He was, he's got the disease. He was dying for, for oh, was dying, and they kind of just played it off afterwards. It was there for attention. Timey, yeah, Timey. Uh, like, I was really invested in what was happening with Timey's condition, and she was deteriorating, and it was sad. I liked that character. And then they just kind of like, yeah. <laughs> Moved it over to a side, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she, they kind of figured something out. She's okay now. And I was like, ah, okay. Uh, going that way. It would have to be Yish. Killing Thancred now achieves nothing other than being, like, probably disappointing and flat. Uh, Astinian hasn't done enough to warrant it yet, and he still has a lot of potential, I think. Yuri, I don't think it fits. It would be Yish. Would be the logical choice, I think. People still very much love that character. But again, I would just like that tension to be back in the game. I haven't got that anymore. And I miss it. I miss that tension. I really do. Uh, I, I mean, I know people hated it, but, uh, and again, Chris brought this, this up again, and I kind of forgot about it. The quest line, um, where you are taken out of your body, Xenos is controlling you, and you're the guardsman trying to get back, 
the idea that they played with there is that like a scion will die and it'll be at the hands of the warrior of light i thought was extraordinarily good i thought it was extraordinarily good i was like this is brilliant this is absolutely brilliant if they are going to kill off a scion and it ends up being at the hands of the warrior of light like that is that is special that is a really special storytelling technique that can't be done outside of video games you can't deliver that in a written word you can't deliver it in a movie you can only deliver that in video game format of having to play it and physically be in control of it and have that moment where the player runs up the hill to try and stop what's happening and uh you arrive and you know uh, the sign is dead that was great it's that feeling of powerless that makes you play through it, right? Uh, you can say what you want about Death Stranding or whatever, but Hideo Kojima nailed it. Is that why horror is so good in video games and not in and better than it is in movies and the written word is that you at the controls have to go through that door. You can't recapture that because in a movie, they're going to go through the door whether you want them to or not. Like somebody else is in control. They're going through the door. As a video game, you have to physically walk forward and go through that door that you don't want to go through. And I think that was a great moment in Final Fantasy XIV where they captured that feeling of no matter how hard you try, it's you've got to play it. And you're the one who has to try and get back. And you've got a time limit and you've got the stress. All that element adds up to something great. But they didn't do it. Like, they didn't do it. Um... Like when you control Cloud when he attacks Aerith. Yeah, like the ability to go past just storytelling and cutscene and put, make the player physically do it is so good. Uh, that's why I love video games so much. And uh, yeah, I would like something like that. But I think it would be ish. And it would only... But I want to be clear on this. It would only serve the purpose as to shatter plot armor. So that that fear and tension of these lovable, fantastic characters uh, is at risk. They're not safe all the time, regardless of what's going on. But uh, I don't think they'd actually do it at this point. I'm not convinced. Uh, I don't think characters need to die or have a chance. Uh, they do to have a good story. No, uh, I think it needs to be possible, at least for me, for that story to land as effectively as it could do. Like I say, in Endwalker, when they were all disappearing and stuff, I was like, eh. They're going to be coming back, so it's they're basically just not going to be in the cutscenes for a while. That's that's kind of how it was for me. Whereas, if I go back to Shadowbringers, that wasn't the case. Because I fully expected somebody to die in Shadowbringers as the story was coming to a culmination. Uh, and that tension when I did that Ranjit Thancred scene was like, this is it. This is the end of Thancred. That was a really powerful feeling while I was playing that piece of content. Is like, this is it. He's gone. And it was also his redemption. All the stuff with Reen uh, and Uriange was really cool. It was a uh, it had a finality to his story. And now we were in a scenario where he could die. And I was, one, okay with it and really amazed at how they pulled it off. But I don't have that feeling now anyway. Uh, there's a balance we struck between Game of Thrones style. Everyone could die and crazy levels of plot armor. Yes, there is. Uh, if you, you want tension... But I know, I also, I say that on my behalf, I know a lot of people got very upset when the Scions were disappearing in Endwalker. Um, I did. Yeah, like Chris did, uh, and a few others did, and I think Jordan did as well. I'll tell you what it reminds me of, um, going back to the Marvel Universe, Infinity War, yeah. part one, is when, the, when they all start disappearing, mm. I didn't give a fuck, because... Really? Yeah, because I knew that one, Black Panther 2 was in development. Yeah. Spider-Man was in development. And I'm like, yeah, these characters... And also, from a business perspective, it makes no sense to kill off your fresh, young actors to the universe. The they, were dying. they were. This is what sure was... Enough. Yes. The I mean, people. I certainly wasn't. I, I... Yeah, but we're in the know, right? Yeah. We know about shit like what movies in development and all that. But uh, I know a lot of the feedback that happened during the Infinity War, when it screened, mm. is people were broken i mean i was sad then too I, I think there's maybe it's a suspension of disbelief thing yeah probably or leaning into the, the feeling i guess it depends how it's executed I, I think there's kind of a critical point is kind of how i would describe it where consequences have to happen and when they don't for too long like there is leeway 
but eventually you're hit what I would call like the, the nexus of plot armor. And that's when you lose it. You need consequences. I think for a good story, you need consequences. You need things to happen. Um, you need you need to actually have consequences. Yeah, I agree. I think that's a good way of putting it. Is it without consequences? Like genuine consequences? I, I would say it's the reason that Game of Thrones works so well uh, early on, let's say. <laughs> we'll, we'll preface this. And this yeah. is the problem later on. Because the reason Game of Thrones works as well as it does is that independent of your love for a character, things play out in the way that makes sense per the consequences. Yeah, for sure. Like, if... Uh, and I always uh, I tell you what it is, is they're writing the story right mm. so it's a case of why does Yish keep surviving oh because it's fun it's like yeah but don't write them into that situation because that's yeah. what takes away the stakes exactly. you write them into their back being against a wall and there's no way of getting out of this you wrote that you put them there you know what I mean yeah, you're choosing to put them in a, in a spot mm. for the sake of build up, building up tension but you're not willing to go through it because you don't want there to be permanent consequences. Yeah, it's why people really hate the Fantastic Beast movies now. Is yeah. uh, the first Fantastic Beast movie was cool. It was I a real, it. I mean, it's not an amazing movie. Like, let me no, not going to say but, that. But it, it was a cool movie. Was cool, you know, having that memory mm -hmm. loss thing. It all makes. Kind and of then sense. they completely unwrit it in the in the next movie immediately. It's right, like we're it's... not willing to deal with the consequences <laughs> of our writing. We, we're writing it to make a really cool moment. But we're not going to deal with the consequences of the scenario. And when that happens, everyone loses interest. Like, yeah, eh, okay. Yeah, so when you hit that plot, plot armor point, it just, it, it devalues so much of that tension. Exactly, you exactly. Don't put them there in the first place if you're not willing to follow through with it. Like, uh, or to, uh, what was the, what did they do in the last Game of Thrones? Is they had fucking Jon Snow, and then they had all, the, do you remember the, do you remember the last season of Game of Thrones? Yeah. Do you remember the episode where they arrived at Winterfell and it was the battle of the... Yes. The, okay. And they have a shot about three quarters of the way through the episode where the only people alive in Winterfell are the main <laughs> characters. Yeah. yeah. It's so fucking stupid is they have, like, Jon Snow fighting a dragon and, like, the, the fucking Night King raises, like, everybody who's died and his own army on top of each other and then it just cuts away. Yeah. And he's fine. He's yeah. later on. And then it goes to like a shot of like Brienne and Podrick or whatever <laughs> against the wall with surrounded by like a hundred zombies and yeah. they're fine. <laughs> and then it cuts to like the hound and something else and he's fine. And you're just like, everybody died except the main characters. This yeah. is so fucking stupid. And you've put what? A hundred plus thousand. Arya should have undead. had her neck snapped in 0 yeah. 0.2 seconds. In Winterfell. And everybody's walking out of it. Who matters to the story? And, and it doesn't help that that follows so, something so stupid beforehand, as well, because it makes it so much worse. Like you, you have, okay, we're, we're at a castle, a defensible fortification. So let's go and put our army outside of it. Outside the castle, yeah. Let's build these parapets it, it just, of fire it adds, it and adds blood. Up, right? It's like it, the silliness compounds <sighs> as it goes. So fucking stupid. <laughs> I remember watching this like this is not the show or the storytelling no. that happened before. Like this is not where it came from. Oh, the trebuchet. Put the artillery outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like that that's what I'm talking about. That kind of feeling. When that happens, you're like, okay. Whatever. Uh, the main reason I really don't like Yish is that she's been in the should be dead moments so often. It's had no consequences. Yeah, I mean she was blinded, but it actually helped her out, right? She was blinded, but it actually improved her situation somewhat. It never really, like, it didn't even fucking put a pause in a step from being blinded. Uh, now she can see more shit than anything else. Um, yeah, like, there's been no real consequences. In fact, Hot Wheels is the only one who's had any consequences. And that's kind of why I think I like that character. And it also, I feel so much better about Fordola kind of gaining empathy and her love for another one. Uh, because she's now dealing with somebody who's disabled, but courageous and strong, uh, and doing all those things. And that's a touching story, right? She's found a connection there. Yep. Uh, it's brought a humanity out because she's now caring for somebody who needs her help and they work together as a team. Like, that's great. There's a consequence there of what happened and that there's war going on. And it's one of the few people she can associate closely with because someone who can, who has the echo is yep. just the same as well. Um... I really hope we see more of those two. Exactly. Sure. Yeah, I really hope so too. 
Uh, yeah, that her eyes are literally killing her. Is now kind of forgotten under the rug. Yeah, now she she sees like Jordy I the mean, Forge. That would be the thing to do, right? Is to have because so the, the premise is that she's burning up her life force to see. Yeah. So if you were gonna kill her, have it be some critical moment where she doesn't. She's like been told not to use it, and she's not doing it for like intentionally. And then she has to do it to save everyone else. So Are we? Yeah, like you could have, like you could build it up in a way that's like she has. Look, it's getting worse. Yeah. And I now have to be blind. Yeah. Otherwise, I die. Right. She gets to that point. Like it wouldn't be something you could rush into. But and then we need to know where it is, and yeah. she does it. Like that would be that would be horrible. And I would, I would be down for that. Like she, she, like I mean, maybe not has to see, but she almost like burns up what's left of her essence mm -hmm. you know in some big moment yeah i think she's got a lot of uh i think she's got a lot of room to grow though uh we'll see what they do with her but yeah i mean we always come down to this it's like i just want some of the stakes to be back because i want that feeling again like i had with thancred and ranji i hadn't had that in a video game a long time it's why rate shot to bring us so highly is like i haven't had that feeling in a video game of like fuck you <laughs> for a really long time and to be at like peace which is how I felt during the fight. I went from like, oh, we're doing this duty. to like, oh, we're losing. Oh, we might die. To also coming to terms with it. Like, during the moment. I was like, and I'm kind of okay with this. Like, this is this is sad and it's miserable. You know, it's... But I'm okay with it. And I want that feeling. Uh, I, I just don't think I'll have that feeling unless that something happens. That's all. Kill you, Geary. Eh. 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 Uh, grab a rug chat. Life force is ether. Better go life force can't only mean shorting her life, but also just having her ether pool drained faster. Yeah, but she sees it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, forgot you, Gary, exists. You, Gary's fine. She's just not a primary character, right? Yeah, she's not been in the MSQ for ages, uh, but she doesn't have the screen presence of Gusetsu. Like, Gusetsu is fine to go away and come back, and it's awesome. That guy's like a fucking Brock Lesnar character. It's like, he turns up, kicks ass, it's awesome, it's great, and then he's like, right, peace for a bit, and we're like, no worries, brother, we'll see you later. <laughs> no worries. We'll see you in a bit. Excellent news. Like it. All good. All good. Oh, Yoshi P. There you go. He's a healer now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need blue, green, purple hair scion. I don't know. Dawn Trail's the start of a new era, and I don't think for some of these characters you can hit that. We'll see what the stakes are in Dawn Trail. That's what we'll wait for. What are the stakes here? What are the stakes they're going to leave us with? Love a love kitty. You know this plate is crisp. You can tell. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> love a love kitty. Love a love... Lest you wonder about your passage to Tral, Erinval will arrange a ship through this guild. You only need to worry about your own preparations. Speaking of which, please take this with you. A rugged and ready knapsack. May it serve you well on your coming adventures. Now, I'm not sure when departure will be, but rest assured, I'll let you know when I hear something. Till then, have a rest. Cool, what do we get? Knapsack. Research has proven that wearing a knapsack or similarly greatly reduces the likelihood of being pestered with questions about how you can carry so many items used to acquire a knapsack. Okay. I'm so mad that these items are Oh, cutscene hypers. Meanwhile. We haven't had a meanwhile in so long. I love it. Oh! When does the next ship set sail? May I ask your destination? The north and east, I've already seen. I suppose I'll head west this time. Wait, what? You're just going out on the spur of the moment, west coincidentally? Inside. What? He just happens to be going there? Mm. 
Meanwhile. Okay, I'm not sure about that choice. Our theory's just kind of got shit on. Daddy, Daddy. I see you've made up your mind. I had a feeling you'd be keen. But to think that our comrades too are thither bound. Fate doth work in mysterious ways. So they've been summoned for a different reason. Indeed. It will be a grueling task having to contend with them. So these are team two. If the prospect doth trouble thee, it is not too late to decline the petition. Though thine expression would suggest thou art far from perturbed. Consider me unperturbed. Oh, how could I possibly be, knowing what's to come? <laughs> then let us delay no further and secure passage on a vessel. Why would they separate Astinian out? Aye, this will be a mission to remember. What a weird choice. Come, my friend. We make for Tarar. They seem to be taking it as a friendly contest, like a Highland Games or something. And they're keeping it secret from the other guys. Why? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if they've been told it's like a more friendly contest than the royal families on the line. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters? Oh, we're of just the remembering. Mountain? Okay. Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of Blind Frost in Offerd's North. That scared the shit out of me. I was like, how does this work? <laughs> The fabled golden cities of the new world. We anchor now, the tide is high, and dawn of new adventure nigh. Roll forth to break Horizon's bond and tread the gilded path beyond. Hmm. Okay, team one, team two, and Astinian's there for some reason. <laughs> so, uh, and Astinian's just decided to YOLO go there. That was so strange. That's so strange. Why, why, what, uh... Man wants a holiday, just happens to want to go now. I don't know if I'd almost preferred that they turn up and Astinian's already there, like on a beach, chilling with a fucking coconut cocktail. <sighs> what are you guys doing here? I came here months ago or whatever. <laughs> what are you fuck are you guys doing here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I went, I went like, I came here like ages and ages ago. Oh, you had to wait for the expansion. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, you're manning the doors? Oh, you got your full back. Is the backpack a glam piece? What's it for, the backpack? 
B, right? Why am I pressing the wrong thing? Aye, there we go. It's a fashion accessory. Yeah, where do we put fashion accessories? I don't use these. Let me drag into here. Use. You acquire the knapsack personal effects. Excellent. Where do you utilize that? I'm not bothered with any of these things. Actions and traits. Do, 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 do. Extras? Umbrella thingy. Uh, I don't use any of these things. Oh, is it in here? I keep going past it. What? Wrong. <laughs> okay, I got set in the wrong direction. Got it. Yeah, I don't. I don't mess with any of these things. Uh, visor, the Joshin weapon, reset display. Armor plate, recommended gear. Uh, below, under the minion guide. Uh, ah, there we go. Fashion sources. Yeah, I've not played with any of these. Look. Cool. Disappears when you go into combat, right? If I remember the last time we looked at this. And this only comes out in the rain. Enable auto umbrella. Will they come back? Yeah, I think the last time we used this was for the wings during the uh, parade. No, no, no. It's not strange for Astinian to go wandering. The timing is very strange. It just, it's an, it, right? We, we can accept the timing is strange. It just happens to go, to go there now. Of all the times he could have gone. I think I would have, uh, it would have been different the other way. Uh, I really like the new character. I don't think she's fit to rule though. Uh, that I definitely don't think, uh, she's fit to rule in any way, shape or form. I get she kind of has to, to prevent the other guy. I want to see the other, uh, I want to see the other candidates before I put my lot in with someone. Yes, not being mentioned is going for one of two spots and bringing Thancred and Yuri. Thancred coming to recruit, uh, you, but finds you with Wook. Could be. I wonder if, uh, the, hmm, would Arianje and Thancred go on a journey if the stakes haven't been explained to them? I don't know. There's many questions here. There's many questions. Have they been... I doubt they've been informed of something terrible about Wook. Uh, I highly doubt that's the situation. I don't like this accessory. Get off me. I don't like it. Right, let's grab my sandwich before we get into this. I have to eat at very specific times. I'll tell you one thing, though. I am definitely more excited for Dawn Trail now. I am way more excited for Dawn Trail now. <laughs> We've actually got some intrigue going on. We've actually got some intrigue and some mystery. Estinian is bad with money. It'd be funny if when the Scions get there, he'd be washing dishes cause he lost all his money. Hmm. Well, I don't think this MSQ did more than raise a lot of questions. Which is great. You want that anticipation. We want that anticipation, right? We really do. So all we have now is like 8,000 questions.
Honestly, Carpe Noctum, I don't know. I still don't know what we do for Dawn Trail. I really don't know. I've never been faced with a situation like this. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. What's the situation? We just finished the, uh, the finale of Endwalker. And now we're absolutely loaded with theories. Yes, Hannah. I have to eat at the appropriate time so I have energy at certain times of the day. It's taken some adjusting, but I'm pretty close to it being right. I have to eat now and some around 3.30 p.m. Honestly, I'd need to uh, revisit a lot of the Endwalker story in order to do a tier list. The problem we've run into now, unlike when we played all the previous expansions, is it's been so dragged, you know, drawn out because uh, we had to do it in current time that there are details I'm forgetting. There's a lot of details I'm, I, I can't quite remember. Oh, it's hell. I absolutely hate waiting for the next part of the story. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. This is one of those occasions where I kind of have to refer to my own videos on it. Any predictions on Rebirth? Um... Oh, we have made a decision on Rebirth. Yeah, it's good that you brought that up, actually, because I don't think I've told you guys about it. So, Rebirth will be played this year, but we're going to do it as the finale of all the Final Fantasy single-player games. We have... Um, I think we had a good learning experience during 16. Uh, is that uh, while uh, the people who are, like, not willing to wait a year until they can play on PC or whatever are fine with it um there's no real rush for us to play rebirth on launch and we have other single players ffs to do and in our opinion like when we talk about it as a team it's like we either just whole hog it and then people can watch it on the vods or whatever or we we make it like a little event and save it we've still got the other F single player ffs to finish like uh, we've got like four or five left and then we could do rebirth as the finale to that and then that way anybody he wants to play it because it's, it's a PS5 exclusive, right? And even, we're not giving away more PS5s right now uh, while we're redoing the studio. So it's a case of uh, waiting and then we'll do it then. No. Final Fantasy February. While I'm not saying we won't ever play the sequels, like X2 and 13-2 and stuff, they're not on my priority right now. My priority is the base game of the single-player ones, the initial game. I'm certainly not saying we're not going to play X2 or whatever, but I want to do 1, 2, 3, everything minus 11 in its base game before we go into sequels of those games. That's my plan. Right, mini sandwich number one consumed. Let me wash my hands and then we'll go away for Hildy. Hildy time!
glorious. Absolutely glorious. What a day. My brain is spinning. I'm going to have to, like, compress. I'm going to have to, like, unpack everything we just learned. We'll put a video on CDP because Chris has played through it as well. Would you consider playing Golden Sun? Uh, someone else brought that up, but yeah, probably in the future. Uh, not top priority right now. I've got my yearly goals. I want to do WoW Hardcore to 60. I'm going to make it. That's going to be in February. I want to beat an Uber in Path of Exile. I want to do that. Finish the single player FFs. That's on the list. We've got Dawn Trail. We've got... Um, Terraria Calamity at some point. And um, we've got uh, The War Within as well. Which the alpha is probably relatively soon. Alright. Is this the... Uh... It is, right? It's the mad scientist. Okay, are we ready for this? <sighs> yeah, it's time to start a six-month summathon, Chris, for the list. Ha! <laughs> 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 Full! Oh, no. You're just in time to assist with my latest fact-finding expedition. Our recent forays of Charlie have revealed that Poo Poo's friend was in the company of the Hanish alchemist, yes? As such, I was inspired to do some preliminary legwork there in Thavna. I contacted my usual sources for local sightings of alien phenomena. But alas, they have none to share. I have thus switched tactics and decided to track down this alchemist fellow instead. Surely someone will have heard the tale of an apothecary bold enough to set up a shop in Garlian Battlefield. The inspector and the others have been pursuing a similar line of inquiry, yet I found no leads here in the city or at the Great Work. I believe they've moved their investigation to Yidlmad, so I suggest we hurry over and join them. I cannot have Little Blue Man muddying the waters when we're so close to grasping his master plan! Alright, buddy. Alright. Oh, they're all here. And Bradley Hill's here. Excellent. Excellent. I see the two of you are eager as ever to observe my inspectorial genius at work. Ah, the long-term fans are often the most ardent. As a matter of fact, we're just about to continue our investigation into the alchemist. We need to have been traveling with Master Poo Poo's comrade. I mean to s that is to say I I'm merely uh, following in the inspector's wake. You needn't be so modest, my dear Inspector Brandyhild. Oh God, he's still here. Bobby Lalafell is still here. Dude, get a girlfriend. Go out somewhere. Go to a bar. It is wrong of me to comport myself as an equal to you in any respect, for I am but a copy and a flawed one at that. Stuff and not, clone or not, self depreciation is unbecoming in a Mandeville man. Exactly. The things you can do are amazing. I don't know about that. It was you who saved Floor from certain doom, was it not? Well, not quite as electricious as mine. Your rapid reasoning is nevertheless quite effective. Tis kind of you to accept me, rough edges and all. I only hope my meager contributions are of some small assistance. Ha! <laughs> too, too modest by half. I'd say his mental faculties far surpass those of the original. He's not even Saul anymore though, right? Why have they made him so obvious? He's not even using the branches. Like, he's not even remotely subtle in these days. He literally just stands out in the open. That's enough chin-wagging amongst ourselves, I think. Let us spread out and learn what the locals know of this adventurous apothecary. Subtle. <laughs> subtle. Very subtle. Perhaps if I emulated Inspector Hildebrand's cavalier attitude, I could be of greater use in our investigations. Oh, don't second-guess yourself compared to that fucking moron. 
Come on, man. Fishmonger. An apothecary is in Radzan, of course, more than I could count. Not to tell anyone peddling such goods in the heart of the Empire, though. Seems like a terrible idea to me. Well, it's civil war raging at war amongst them, didn't Situation's improved in recent days, but even so, Radiant Horse still has to provide security for cargo ships. A lone merchant trading there alone? I don't think so. Fair, fair, fair. Any openers? Oh, that geezer. <laughs> I know many a merchant who travel aboard to ply their wares. Now I do business in Garlemald, though. You'd have to be mad or desperate indeed to consider setting up shop in that troubled land. I mean, <laughs> word is, we've signed some sort of trade agreement with Garlians. Still not the kind of place where one simply wanders in and opens up a street stall, know what I mean? Yeah, we know. They haven't been offered to do voice acting. No. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. I like to play with it, but I'm not good at it. I, I know the one him you speak. A fellow fisherman told me of a friend of his, Pothecary, who set off to war with Horn and Garlemald to sell his medicines. A reckless fool, if you ask me. I've no interest in the affairs of such men, but you do, I take it. If so, I suggest you head to the useless... <laughs> and hear the tale yourself. Look for a red-haired lad there, gathering shellfish. Oh, Ginger's got the answers, has he? Nashu Makakaraka. Has she always had that name above her? I remember that. Ah, Floor. I hope your questioning has borne fresher fruit than mine. A ginger, you say? And a good friend of the alchemist in question. Then let us gather the troops and pay a visit to this felicitous fisherman. Fuck off, game. Really? <laughs> the story of my apothecary friend. Uh, uh, you must be Beresif. Well, uh, well, I was near enough to calling it a day anyway. It is what I could tell you. Beresif comes from a bunch of poors. His family's poor, his friends are poor, and... Well, he smells, and, and growing up never had much in the way of money or possessions. I suppose those experiences are what led to his lifelong obsession with not being poor. Uh, after trying his hand at a succession of trades, he decided alchemy would earn him the most gill. But uh, his stock never sold as well as he hoped. So when he heard about the internal strife in Garlemald, he saw it as a golden opportunity. Surely the middle of the war was the best place to sell medicines. <laughs> More like the best place for a near-death experience, right? <laughs> he soon gave up on his Garlemald venture. But while one would have expected him to return lamenting his ill fortune, uh, Barry was practically euphoric when I saw him again. A god's uh, given blessing. He'd found in the snow fields had given him much cause to celebrate. He said he'd learn how to create gold. <laughs> I must admit I laughed at first. But then, then he showed me a gleaming mountain of the stuff. Enough to proclaim himself a merchant prince. He even changed his name to Vanudi. A word which brings to mind the bounty of the divine. A name I have heard. 
He's the rising star in the markets, is he not? The one snapping up commercial ventures left and right. Hey, that's him, hey, Venudi. <laughs> Certainly made his ambitions known there in Favnir. Especially when he attempted to purchase the entire port of Yedelmed. The dock masters declined to sell, of course, but when it comes to buying historic landmarks, a bottomless purse can open surprising doors. Last I heard, he'd converted to the Gilded Aria into a private abode and has been filling it with every rare treasure his gold can secure. He pays out particularly large sums for artworks depicting the goddess Asura. I remember him being a, a fervent worshipper of her feet, even as a, even as a child. <laughs> I've encountered much Mansia and Migo lore in Radzahan, yet I recall no mention of this Asura. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that's hardly surprising, that is. Uh, as a deity of war, she's she's not well loved by the common folk. <laughs> yeah. Or in the red, they used to call her. Borisov, though, he, he's different, yeah. Though, uh, he, he sees life as a, a constant battle to amass wealth and and it is to Asura who he prays for victory. Damn me if she didn't listen to him. That poor became merchant royalty. A man far too rich and important now to afford me more than a fleeting moment of simple fishermen. Even those who were once dear friends. Eh, yeah, sad that. Um. <sighs> Hey, listen, if you'll excuse me, I must leave it at that. These uh, clams won't sell themselves, you know. Wide walks away, sad as he is. How about that, eh? Our sought after apothecary and the upstart merchant prince were one and the same. Might we assume the blessing he stumbled upon in Garlemald was a certain alien craft in its occupant? Sorry to intrude, but aren't you the hero who helped us when folk were turning into beasties? Well, some nasty looking creature just showed up outside town. One of our guards wants to confront it, but I don't like her odds against that thing. This sounds like a case for Expector Hildebrand. Come, friends. Let us investigate forthwith. Make way for the clams. Oh, okay. This guy is just literally walking with us at this point. This is actually outrageous. Oh my god, he's back. Hey, Doc. I thought you destroyed that monster. I have the situation under control, citizens. This individual bears a strong resemblance to a known fugitive, so I thought it prudent to investigate. Regrettably, he has proven less forthcoming with answers. And how many times must we teach you the same lesson, shiny skull man? Lesson? What are you on about? Ah! Cease this babbling and get out of my way! Lord Vanuni's orders are to cause trouble at the port and I'm running behind schedule. Vanudi, the merchant who tried to buy Yedelmed. So he put you up to this. Curses! How did you manage to deduce our dastardly plan? You, you, you just blurted it out. Silence! No one who learns of our scheme can be suffered to live. Prepare to be squashed, medals and worms! <laughs> Out of nowhere! The... Papi, out of nowhere! Top rope! Oh shit, there's loads of them. Three more sinister skullmen! Was the doctor a quadruplet? Oh, is it mummy? Oh shit.
That's a big old pan, that is. M mother Vexatious vermin! This will soften you up! Get panned! Tennis pan? Tennis pan! Ah, a lucky hit! Thank you. Thank you. Whiff. Saved. One last pitch. Okay, I won't whiff it this time. Home run coming. Oh, he's put some stink on it. The unlimited heavy hit is special. But that was my fast Bye, Captain. I've come to expect father's sudden appearances, but what brings you here, mother? A proposition from the Merchant Venudi, as a matter of fact. I'm accompanying your dad as a manager for Mandeville and Mandeville, and we were just on our way to the bloke's mansion. I've already refused Master Venudi once before when he tried to buy out our commercial empire. This time, however, the deal concerns offloading a quantity of gold at wholesale prices. This is quite an attractive offer considering fine jewellery is our stock in trade, and we thought to at least listen to his proposal. But if he would purposely command his lackeys to disturb the peace of a public port. Who's Julian? We can't do business with a thug like that. Abs is that... Oh, is that Mummy? She's called Julian. I forgot her name. Where did all those lackeys come from in the first place? Is there a hulking weaponized brute manufactory around here somewhere? As I suspected, the ship's vaporization beam is convinced to expunge only replicated matter. So you could copy in organic materials as well. How interesting. Once the matter of duplication facility has analyzed an object's molecular structure, it could generate any number of copies. Yet it cannot create matter from nothing. A requisite supply of ether must be on hand to facilitate the process. Cool! You sure do know a lot about a lot! A Spectre Brilda Brandy Hild, even alien starships! <laughs> She's so enthused all the time. Tis no great achievement. As I've mentioned, the gaps in my knowledge were patched with data from the Starship's own archives, which included the vessel's full schematics and functions. Assuming I understand this correctly, is it possible Venuti is using the repaired alien craft to replicate piles and piles of gold? Nodders. We share the same suspicion, Master Deline. 
To my knowledge, no other method exists that can reliably produce precious metals. Oh, of course! This is the obvious conclusion. That being the case, one might further assume that Venuti is either threatening or deceiving Master Poopoo's comrade in order to gain access to the vessel's superior technology. Our course of action is clear, my friends. We march right up to this gold spawner's front door and demand the release of his extraterrestrial hostage. So we got the whole crew together. Seems good. A solid start. We've got Mummy and Pappy with us, so we can't lose in a fight. That's a guarantee. I was hesitant to put stock in the unsavory rumors I'd heard. But this unprovoked attack on the port would seem to be incontrovertible proof of Venuti's villainy. Hmm. Good to see you, Floor. And good to see you're still keeping company with our darling boy. That blocky lad, a new friend of yours. Smooth the edges and he'd be the spitting image of our Hildy. Uh, okay, she doesn't get he's a clone. Okay. That was a smashing hit, Floor! <laughs> Thanks, Nashu. She cheers me up. I am given to understand that. While identical in appearance, the craft belonging to Master Poo-Poo's comrade is equipped with more advanced technology. All oh, this talk of threats and deceit has me worried. The Spectre's mother is a monstrously strong as the Mandeville men. Except, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Fair enough. We must confront this malicious merchant at once. If your heart's set on confrontation, then you may as well come with us. Venuti's invitation included a private airship flight to his new estate. Aye, we still need to formally reject his deal anyways, and his pilot will be waiting. We're going on a boat! Boat time! Shall we be on our way? We're to meet Venuti's pilot atop the rise just south of Kadaya's footsteps. Yay! Okay, we're just rocking up with like 20 heads. This is rude. What if they prepared lunch? The stone is still beautiful. I love the colors they put into this place. And it had hippos. It had everything we needed for a proper zone. Hippos are my favorite animal. All time. Well, you can't have a pet hippo. Dogs are very close. Lord Gobbert. Lady Julian. And... Entourage. Pray excuse our presumptuousness. My son and his companions insisted they come along. Desperate as they were to meet with the illustrious Master Venuti. I see. One moment, if you please. If I could have a hippo, I totally would. Yeah, yeah. I just want to see a hippo swimming around. <laughs> Their little fucking legs chubbing around in the water. Lord Venuti should be glad to welcome you all to his home. Pray, step aboard and I shall take you there directly. Yeah, I mean, I'm not down with animal captivity, but hippos are so goofy looking, little floating burrito ass creatures. What an odd design. Colorful, though. Well, well, well. Welcome, honored guests, to my humble abode. I trust the view is to your liking. Since you travelled all the way from distant Uldar, a pleasant backdrop to our talks was the least I could provide. And what an unexpected boon this is. 
I had been debating when to extend you a personal invitation. But now here you are. Like a wish come true. Save your act for the magistrates, Vanuti. We know the secrets of your ill-gotten gold. You will cease this exploitation of alien technology and release your hostage into the care of Master Poo Poo at once. Unraveled all my schemes, have you? Good. Good. I needn't waste my breath on tedious explanations, then. This is Master Poo Poo, I presume. I do have his fellow alien here with me, yes. As for exploiting their technology, I freely admit to duplicating a quite, frankly, obscene amount of gold. Well, that was merely the beginning. Imagine making copy after copy of the deadliest weapons in existence. Would not the world itself be yours for the taking? Let's get straight to point. I want you at my side. With the vaunted Warrior of Light as the template for my clone army, we could conquer this and every other land in creation. Oh, uh, hmm. <laughs> Well, <laughs> no, we're not playing Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> we're the Warrior of Light. We're the Warrior of Light. We're not playing Baldur's Gate 3, okay? Let's let's stick to what we're doing. <laughs> A pity. Yet yeah, I anticipated you'd prove an impediment to my ascension. Yes. It seems the time has come to test Luge's ritual of manifestation. All was prepared long in advance of your coming. This tower holds not only mundane treasures, but also caches of crystals. As for the requisite congregation of worshippers, well, I had but to clone myself. After all, who's more devoted to my cause and my goddess than me? He's trying to build himself as a. He's trying to make himself a fucking thro uh, a primal. Okay. That's a lot of ether you've been chomping on there, pal. Oh shit, he's got an iPhone. Divine Asura, take up thy blades and wage war upon my earthly rival. <laughs> oh, we're getting the full scary music, no way! Focus, focus, Hildy! Nay, hey, Hildebrand. Against a primal, we may be more hindrance than help. We dare not remain within its sphere of influence. Oh god, don't become enthralled. Best of luck, my friend. I must make a gentlemanly withdrawal. Nodders. Asura? What? What? Hildy has a trial in it? Wait, get...
No shit. Okay. Uh, I, okay. Yeah, I'm on it. 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 Going in order. Was oh god. Uh, how many's that? Mez, you should. Uh, that's eight. There we go. I assume this has an extreme as well. Oh, sorry, I queued. Uh, I'll stay as DPS for now, unless you want me to heal. Uh, I should type that here, really. We're good. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll stay at Black Mage for now. Boo! So I got the jams up. There we go. Good quality plates in here. Oh shit, I like yours, John. Okay. I am not gonna die here. Guaranteed. No death. I am Asura. And on battle I thrive. Have you the courage and strength to face me? As long as nobody, like, tries to get me out of my rune or anything, right? Will you dodge or will you flee? Is this a pushback? Uh, sure, Cass. Many long months of inspecting floors with you. Yeah, I wasn't sure which way that was going then. Cutting jewel. Oh, I forgot to press F3. You've not time to blink. Ephemerality. Are we getting sliced or was that just AOE damage? Oh, they're gonna blow up. Okay, I'm dead. Fuck! <laughs> I thought those slice lines were gaps to get into. Son of a bitch. Ooh, wow, that looks awesome. Come forth, embodiment of carnage. Oh, she's a big lady. On the bloody field of war. The spirit of battle Is the big one duplicating? Is that gonna swap? Fear the gleaming edge. Hmm. I don't like that. I, I can't see what the boss is doing. I want to see what the big boss is doing. Son of a bitch. Okay, that is a wide, wide area of effect. That is wide, boy. Oh, we died twice here. Behold the six-fold blade. Okay. Oh god, this keeps going. Okay. One. Two. You just circle around, right? Just 
Should I just move back? I thought there was another one. Fury be my strength. Uh, I got a red face. Does that mean I stand in red face? Put runes up. I will scatter your bones. She got to come back over here. Show me your steel. Blade scatter. Oh, going right round. I feel like this has a really dope extreme. Is the right, is she gonna do wide boy Andy on me again? Is it the gap between her blades Surely as to how wide it'll be? Right, she's over there now, so I don't want to be over here. No, no I don't. I'm very concerned about a super wide attack coming at me. Ah, shit. I am very concerned. No one to fuck. I don't know what to tell is for that attack, son of a bitch. Fucker. I know it comes after that uh, wide walk that she does. I am getting silky vibes here, Keck. So now I'm a blue boy. Does blue mean it's going to go off there? I think it does, right? I will scatter your bones. That's wrong one. I need to know the tell for that big wide boy attack. Whatever it is. I also need to practice Black Mage a lot more. It's been too long since we've played it. That's a nice fight, that. There's no extreme for it. Yeah, there's no extreme. Hmm. Yeah, no extreme and the pattern for those is always the same. <laughs> oh, it's just a repeating pattern. That's okay. So, um without seeing the video again, she circles round four uh, I assume she goes to all four cardinals, and then the last one is when she's blasting out the wide line. Because she kept shifting round, I think, clockwise position, and then she ended up there. No? What was it? Did 
She mirrors what the main one does. So it's what? The line that's shooting out here? She only likes the smaller version of attack from her position. Okay, so I was looking over there and she's uh, doing something on the boss. Got it. Uh, no loot from this? Or did I miss it? Tombstones. Does it uh, do it in the same cardinal? Do you mind if we queue again for this? I kind of want to see it again. Oh, hang on. Got some story stuff going on. Good show, Floor. It would seem you thoroughly trounced that pesky primal. And even as we speak, mother and father should be informing the radiant host of that despicable Venuti's wrongdoings. The divine Asura. Defeated. Turn the wheel! We flee for now. Who's flying that starship without my permission? That treasure is mine and mine alone. You called your vessel, Master Poo Poo. No, I did not. It's my friendship. At last, the moment of sweet reunion is at hand. I'm so relieved to see you safe. Alright. Nice to see you, I suppose. But why did you open fire on the airship? Didn't that man help you after your crash? Suppose, at first he did. Pulled me from the wreckage and saw to it that my vessel was repaired. So, in return, I, like, replicated whatever trinket he wanted and taught him the basics of starship technology. But that resolved to be a fucking stupid thing to do. When I was infected by one of the star's unique pathogens, he took advantage of my weakened state, mate. He seized my ship, flew me out to the jungle, and left me there to die. Slowly, agonizingly, I was able to, like, make a cure for my affliction. And then I came back to fuck his shit up. This experience, right, has led me to conclude that the dominant sentient life forms here are fit cunts and entirely unsuitable to be peaceful people. So fuck them. We've got to launch like a full-scale invasion. I'm talking like bare heads. Probably like two cars worth of boys. It's the only way to guarantee our survival, mate. You know what I mean? We'll probably have to get bats. No. No, they're not all like that. These ones have been nothing but kind to me. Oh, yeah? They're all fucking smiles now, mate. Until they shoot you in the back and bend you over with some soap, mate. Gotta strike first. Well, brick of windows. <laughs> oh, one collapse. One shot, one kill. The ship's reactor core has been breached. If it explodes, everyone in the vicinity will be atomized. And we are in the vicinity. Dun dun. 
Considering. Thinking. Observing the angles. Figuring. Think, damn it, think. If I'm to stop the explosion, I need to traverse the considerable distance to the starship, but I can see of no logical solution. <laughs> yeah, your problem is looking for a logical solution. Oh, he can't hold the pose! Defective. Inspector Brandyhild, you must employ my father's mighty moves to propel me to the vessel. I too have calculated that Lord Godbert's signature techniques are for only means of achieving sufficient propulsion. Yet there is a flaw in your proposal. I lack the strength to properly perform the throw and have no time to teach you the starship's controls. Inspector Hildebrand, it is you who must fling me. Oh, easy. Skyward, as only a Mandeville can. I, uh, lost my grip. Reverse course. <laughs> it's all just a question of angles, baby. Given my trajectory and velocity, the correct shift in posture should generate enough lift and processional motions. Yes, I can still make it. Boomerang. It's the Branderang. Wait, you just have an eject button on the outside of the ship? That feels very dangerous. <laughs> it is too late. The reactor is going critical. There is only one way to save the day. Is he sacrificing himself? This music feels inappropriate. Inspector Brandyhild! Our brief time together was more than any defective clone could ask for. Be well, my friends! He's fine. He's fine. Is the case closed for Inspector Brandyhild? We can recreate him, right? We have the technology. Nay, my loyal assistant. As a chip of the old gentleman, our dear Brandehild has surely survived to tell the tale. We shall see him again. Mark my words. Oh, we must be able to rebuild. We've got space technology. Space, for Christ's sake. <laughs> That's really far away. 
You, like, rescued me, even though I was gonna break your teeth. And even though I tried to, like, burn you alive and that. Even one of your guys, like, died. If only I could, like, make amends and earn your forgiveness, but alas, I can't be fucked. There is not to forgive, little man. With his blocky constitution, Inspector Brandyhild will be just fine, I assure you. As a friend of Master Poo, Poo, you are a friend of ours. And what are a few minor plasma burns among friends, eh? Ah, uh, home planet. It was lost to the phenomenon you call the fine old days. We survived only because we were exploring the cosmos at the time. Our explorations, which had heretofore served no purpose but curiosity, shifted to a search for a safe haven. We visited countless stars, but all had succumbed to the same insidious ruin as our own. Going desperate, we decided to, like, come here because it looked like, you know what I mean, pretty shit so we could make it our own. Whether it was populated or not, you know what I mean, mate? We're just moving in. If the native beings were hospitable, then, you know what I mean, we'd be mates and that. If not, then we were just going to fuck them over. So is that when I arrived on your planet, like, the apparent absence of metaphysical chaos, you know what I mean? That fucking bird lady... I blundered into a war zone, mate. It was like in Manchester. I was shot out of the sky. The rest you already know. Having fallen behind during our search, I hurried here where my communications received no answer. That is when I met you, Inspector Hildebrand. Those who would like been affected by the bird lady are beasts now. Given our savage willingness to invade your star, it would seem that in a sense, we are full of despair as well, like when City lost. Fortunately though, my encounter with your generous people brought me to my senses, mate, an outcome for which I'm profoundly grateful, and I'll get the beers in. That said, there is nowhere else for us to go. Would, would it be, would it be too much to ask us to live here on your star? You should go live with the Loperets. Well, of course you must stay. And I suspect you'll be wishing to repair your damaged vessel. We're going to another galaxy. Mommy! Oh, Inspector Nut again! Wait for me! <laughs> Never a dull moment around our Hildebrand. At least we didn't worry about the ship crashes. Not with an impervious Mandevillian on board. Funny you should mention that. Upon reviewing the Mandeville family tree, it was made clear that a lord without heirs of his own passed this name to an adopted child several generations ago. What? Are you saying that you and your son are not direct descendants of Godbrand? The alien progenitor of the Mandeville line? Then how do you explain your unnatural sturdiness? When it comes to building strength and perfecting gentlemanly technique, it is not one's lineage that matters, but rather the unbending conviction within one's heart. Though Godbrand's bloodline be broken, House Mandeville shall live on through us. Just naturally built. If the begoggled boy can't swallow that explanation, I've also heard talk of some unseen power driven by feelings and emotions. 
could be that you and Hildy have tapped into that cosmic essence. <laughs> if that's the case, then you must be positively swimming in it, my dear. Hey, you gotta respect it. How long they've been married, she still makes him sweat. Respect. <clears throat> Every other thing appears to be under control here. So let's just return to the city, shall we? That's big love. That's big, big love. Ah, once more do I find myself hurtling at superlative speed towards an unknown destination. Another day, another thrilling case for Hildebrand. Agents of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire. Case closed. Thanks to an enlightening conversation with Master Poo Poo on the way back. I believe I have the answers required to proceed with our weaponsmithing project. You needn't neglect your other commitments, of course, but I would welcome your continued cooperation. And with that, I bid you good day. Thank you all for looking out for our beloved son. I'm sure him and the blocky lad will be back for more cases before you know it. Hey, Jack, thank you so much for the 26 months, brother. You've got above and beyond for us, Flo. So I'd like you to have the one replicated starship we made. It doesn't have the duplication facility or other such technology on board, but it will carry you through the skies. Use this key to call it whenever you wish. And as for, like, me and him, right? We're gonna go and get our new home, make it better, and go on, like, a little journey and have a look around and that. And so this is where we must say our farewells. Thank you for everything. We are fortunate indeed to have met you. Should we warn the world there's aliens running around? I mean, the bunnies or anything. It seems Poo Poo wasn't planning an invasion after all. He even tried to stop his friend from launching an attack. I'm calling an end to the investigation floor. Your unfailing support during this entire ordeal has been most appreciated. Thanks to you, I was able to observe the inner workings of Charlie. 25 months. Even travel to the surface the of the moon in search three. of the truth. Thank you, Catty. You're amazing. Thank you, Catty. <laughs> and when my own conspiracies threatened to blind me, you were there to open my eyes to the true shape of things. But this world yet harbors its share of the strange and the inexplicable, not the least of which is the source of Hildebrand's impossible physiology. If not an alien, then... Ah... <sighs> Mayhap he's the product of a hyper-advanced civilization from the distant past. The descendants of some gruesome biological experiment. Someone needs to plumb the depths of those unexplained phenomena. And I'm the very man for the job. Hildy from Solution 9, it's all linking together. And that's why Astinian has gone out of his travels. There it is. Alien blood never flow to their veins. Their source of strength and enigma remains. A dynamic folk, their clothing bespoke. A gentlemanly family, the good house Mandeville. A true inspector is born from the heart. La 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 da da da. <laughs> Man, I don't know. In Dawn Trail, I might leave all the Hildy quests of one big go. There's so much that happens back to back. Ah, 
I think so with the Hildy, because they're such short, like, snack-sized stories, and you really want to just have it whirlwinded into your brain. Oh, we'll get some Hildy. I don't think they're skipping. Oh, is it the end of Bobby's story? Wow, nice. Could get a bit more depth on that push-up, though. You say that, but people really miss the Bozzy Zone. People do like to be just playing and grinding and chilling in MMOs. Shooting the shit with the friends while getting on with stuff. I didn't do the grind. I'm, as you as you guys well know, grinding ain't my jam. I have given years of my life to grinding. No more, I say. He's not even got a fucking hair out of place. Not a scratch on his face. Look at him. Beautiful. Breathtaking. <clears throat> oh, we got the key. Uh, you guys mind doing one more? Sure, alright, I'll queue us up, see what happens. Uh, I just want to see the animation on this thing. I was maybe paying too much attention to the big the big dude. Uh, what relic should we get? Probably the scholar one. When we go back to rap country. Bam, 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 bam. I am Asura, and on battle I thrive. On battle I, I thrive. And strength to face me. Will you dodge or will you bleed? Okay, these are just exploding, so we go over here. No biggie. Ah, stop letting that shit fall off. Well, I always fell down on with Black Mage if I'm watching too much of the fight. Come forth, embodiment of carnage. Rebel on the bloody field. My muscle memory is lacking. It's fine. Ten gift is if you manage not to die. I Crash will not off. die. I will not die. I should probably not greed things out. 
But I'm going to, because I always do. Oh shit. Don't die. Oh, come on, man. I've got no fucking health. Fuck. What's my jump to somebody else attack? I can't remember what button that is. Is it C? Yes. Alright, I didn't. I was looking at key bindings now and I missed the fucking attack again. Fuck's sake. Okay, everyone's just running everywhere. There's like a YOLO play going on here. Oh, I'm so shit at this fight. I'm so bad at it. I need to get my FF14 vibe back. I will scatter your bones. Oh, I think most of it's just not practicing black mage. Show me your steel. How close can you get here? Pretty close. The spirit of battle awakens. Right, so does that mean I just go over here now? Is that what I was missing before? Was it just that? Show me your steel. Oh. Is that not the frontal I'm looking for? No. Oh, it is. It's just massively delayed. Oh, I see. Oh, is that a coincidence? Here, the gleaming edge. Oh, the gleaming edge is the safe border. Okay, okay, okay. I see it. I see it. Is the lesson. I see it now. Behold the six fold blade. Oh. One, two. Thought it was safe for uh, two there. The face of battle is ever changing. Joyful is your downfall. This one feels a little obvious, doesn't it? Am I missing anything more than just the, just the opposite face? I don't think so. Will you dodge or will you bleed? 
There's nothing more to that mechanic than just go to the opposite colored face, right? GG, team. Thanks, guys. I don't think there's anything more to it than that, right? No? Yeah, it's just the face. Okay. It's very graphic for something that like goes to the opposite one. Yeah, yeah, I saw I, I saw you guys messing around with the new mount at the... Uh... We're not going down the road of collecting cards. No way. Uh, first time around, it's from one direction only. Second time around, the big one moves around. What, are you talking about the frontal, John? Uh, that big line. So the line comes out the small one, and then she rotates to a different place to attack you from. So I, I saw the rotation, but I wasn't sure if uh, it was keep an eye on her doing an animation. Yeah, yeah, the pattern of AoEs. Okay, that makes sense. Uh... Yeah, that makes sense. Some music. Good. Oh, no, I don't think there's any point in adding extra gear to the Black Mage job here. I don't know what we'll play Dawn Trail as. Maybe pick some answer. Unless it's not fun. <laughs> I don't like that I'm dead, dude. Like, <laughs> it feels... I don't know if I like this mount. Can I get rid of it, like, dragging my body around like this? Okay, that sounds insane, by the way. I don't know if everybody can hear this. That sounds so fucking stupid. <laughs> That sounds so fucking stupid. Does it have mount music? I don't know. I'll have a look. Ah, just this one. Nothing special. Don't need HP if you don't get hit, though. Classic maneuver. Uh, yeah, I know my Black Mage gear is uh, terrible, but... And that's who we need in storytelling. We need the we need the floor inspector there. GG's team. Okay, we still got Tataru to have a look at. And the relic weapon. Cool. Alright, let's have a pee break and then let's check that out. I've got the wrong music on. Oh yeah, that one. That one is clicked. Wee, 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 wee. Yeah, weapon quest. Alright, cool. Quick pee break, and then we'll do it.
Let's say, let's go to Rad's and check out the relic. Let's get that, have a look at that first. Why have I geared up? Uh, gear in MMOs for the last uh -huh. probably seven or eight years has just been a means to an end for me. Um, I don't really get excited about gear anymore. To chase it. Unfortunately. I used to be excited about gear like TBC era, but I don't know, not any, not anymore. Uh, yeah, we want to go over to here, don't we? High Crucible. I'd never see it as casual. I just don't find it particularly exciting to grind gear out anymore. I haven't for a while. I only ever did it in WoW because you had to. <laughs> for raiding purposes. As soon as I stopped raiding, I didn't bother. Uh, you receive a manual weapon for a black... Oh, yeah, I don't want that. I think uh, one thing I'd like to pursue in uh, the coming months at some point is um, probably some sort of progression rating again. I do kind of miss it now. It's something that I'm invested in. I don't know which game it'll be in, though. There's a raid team being put together for WoW, and uh, there's loads of opportunities in 14 as well. Oh, it's you. I suppose that bespectacled fop did mention he'd made some kind of breakthrough and needed to round up usual suspects. I shall inform his lordship of your arrival. Yeah, it could be Savage Raiding there, some something like that. Floor, welcome, welcome. I do hope you're prepared for another spot of modest labor, for I have plucked a new weaponsmithing secret from the depths of my family's extraordinary heirloom. As for why Godbrand abandoned his ciphered journals, to see he desired the greater security afforded by the relic's recording apparatus. That he so feared his knowledge failing through the wicked hands bespeaks the destructive potential of what we seek to recreate. Speak of which, this stage of augmentation will require a fundamental alteration to the weaponry's design. Godbrand understood that individual wielders have different needs and preferences and thus conceived of a method to modify each armament's base qualities. Essential to the process to a new type of oil known as Maxima Lamandeville. By subtly adjusting the precise ratio of ingredients for his coating, we can influence the path of ethereal conductivity as we see fit. Ugh, more bloody oil. This oil's chief ingredient is once again derived from a meteorite, specifically an acronite, with amplifying properties. So many out of this world materials, but it's unsurprising now that we know the alien origin of Godbrand's weaponsmithing techniques. Alien origin, you say? Little wonder, I weren't familiar with them. As has become customary, I shall prepare the bulk of the necessary resources while you procure our supply of acronite. Oh, aye. And a bloody lovely custom, that is. Man of your means, I reckon you could buy a mountain of them space rocks as well. <laughs> and I would gladly do so. Except the merchants in question will accept naught less than a specific type of tombstone in trade. As much as it pays me to oppose upon floor further, she is the best equipped to handle that onerous task. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. These improvements call for a drastic reforging, and it is your expertise that shall see us succeed as fair as well, Master Geralt. Fine, fine. I'll shut me gob and do as me told. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I get a distinct impression you've lost interest in this project. You bloody think. Look, I took this job to pay off my drinking debts. Now that I've managed that, i got no desire to keep working on an underdressed, overpip, pretentious ass. I see. Admittedly, even from the beginning, your distaste for me was rather poorly concealed. And I fear such festering antagonism will adversely affect our smithing endeavours. Are we getting replaced? Yes. Let us resolve our differences over a flag of fine spirits or several. As circumstances dictate. All at my expense, of course. 
Gonna get hammered. Free liquor, is it? You best be bringing your biggest purse. Floor, you must join us. If you would be so kind as to secure a table at the Mayhain, I shall be along in short order. The hammering continues. This is the previous quest? Cool. Hey, you got to enjoy some back-to-back -back storytelling, poggers. Poggers. I've picked up some toll stalls along the way. We'll see what we need. Oh, <laughs> a splendid night for spiritsless beverages. Are you sure about this than I? I'm a mighty thirst. I'll not be slaked by cheap shit. What have you, Floor? Will you be following Master Geralt's fine example? Fuck yeah. Bring it on. Barbarian at heart. I'll roll them dice. Very well. Then I shall order us all the same to start. Your beverages, Lord Godbert. Enjoy. To your health, my friends. Mysterious. Well, I'm fine, wide eyed and bushy tailed. Why are we all so angry at each other? Right. No point beating around the bush. I've hated your guts for a good long while now. Ha! <laughs> So even my insides offend you. And why might that be? Because for a proper artisan, devotion to your craft ought to be your number one priority. But you, you're off founding a consortium of building some fool's playground for fleecing the masses. You, you're a bloody merchant. That's what you are. You believe my devotion is insufficient then. Yet our works require not only the sweat of our brow, but capital to cover expenses now. Thus, does it not a steady revenue facilitate the creative process? In that respect, my business ventures have allowed me to indulge in goldsmithing projects I could never have otherwise afforded. Is it not true that you craft kettles as a means to repay loans for simply make ends meet? Would not a substantial source of wealth spare you such tedious drudgery and empower you to pursue your heart's desire? B Booze! We're gonna need more booze over here. <laughs> I mean, the man can't even afford a shirt. Should we really be judging him? What really soured me was when you sat your ass on the syndicate. How can you craft art worthwhile? You're head buried in political shite. You may be surprised. My participation in Old Al's governance opened my eyes to a different world, which in turn provided great inspiration for several original pieces. Well, you, you, you fucking bleeding uh, inspiration. I want nothing to do with prissy rule makers, if you like. My man's faltering real early in the night here. And you bloody reasonable... Arguments. Rich Zods ain't, ain't got a clue what it's like for poor buggers like me. And what have you got against wearing claws, any road? We are more alike than you realize, Master Geralt, especially when it comes to the simplicity of our attire. It's all clear now, you, you, your, your master, your, your master craftsman. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, 
I'm a sudden failure. A failure. Oh, oh no. Oh no, no. Arena? Where's she? How is she? Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm a sorry excuse for a smithy, and that's all I'm as. Hmm. He seems to be mistaking you for someone else. Perhaps you could offer him a kind word? Uh, you're a disgrace to your progress profession. <laughs> that's how Rena would say it. Uh, you, know, you, know, you always give it to me straight, and uh, I appreciate that. Solid work. 10 out of 10. Right, right. I'm done weeping into me cups. I'll fix up my weapons and do some hell's rip money. I'll do it for my own sense of pride. Maybe have a sleep first, eh? Someone get that guy a bottle of water. You know, that dude is off for a kebab. So to see Master Girls has overcome his aversion to our partnership. Splendid. Although I never would have guessed carrot juice could be so intoxicating. I was concerned for our good smith's health, you see. I had Malil switch his spirits to something less potent several rounds ago. The Mayhane's liquors are sublime, but too much can wreak havoc on a man's constitution. Carrot juice? Gross. Carrot juice sucks. Carrot juice is the fucking worst, dude. There was a time when I, too, devoted every waking moment of my life to my craft. But alas, running a mercantile empire comes with its own responsibilities. Monetary woes notwithstanding, I do envy Master Girls his purity of purpose. And on that note, let us return to our appointed acquisitions. We shall require three chunks of the aforementioned acrondite. As soon as you're able... It also can actually turn you orange, right? If you drink too much carrot juice, you could legitimately turn a shade of orange. Chunks of applying crondite can be attained from Jibrun at the right? Yeah. This is a lie and not true. Has anybody tested it? Okay, let's check it. Can you turn orange? From hey, Mike. Carrot put juice. in attempts on the Mage Tower as Resto Druid last night. Oh, yeah. Felt way easier than Parlor and Sham. Got to P3 multiple times after an hour or two of attempts. Excited for more this evening. Not bad. You should have a relatively easy time in Phase 3, as assuming it's not changed, because they take, uh... The slams don't take a huge portion of the health. You can let your hots do a lot of work there. <coughs> I actually struggled with the phase one of Resto Druid for a little while. I had to employ a trinket that was popular at the time that spawned all these spinning blades uh, to deal with the ads. It was, uh, I, my, my Druid, I did it obviously very undergeared, but uh, I didn't have enough damage to output them. Uh, okay. It, it's true. When high levels of beta carotene are consumed, not all of the pigment is converted to vitamin A. Some of it is circulated into the bloodstream. If these high levels are sustained for some time, such as someone regularly eating carrot juice, the skin may begin to take on an orange hue, a condition known as carotinemia. Well, there you go. There you go. Factoids. Uh, oh, sorry, for your cat, I meant phase two. Phase three is the solo part of the GUI. The final boss is phase seven. Uh, so, let me remember. You do the ads outside, which I would consider phase one. Then you go into, like, a lift thing that closes, if I remember. And then you have to deal with some ads moving through it. Hmm. 
Uh, I'm trying to find a picture of somebody who's got it. Copy. Uh, symptoms and treatment. It's faint, though. It's not like you turn, you know. It looks like it's relatively faint if it happens. You get, like, some orangey nonsense. Uh, it's a solo ad stage. I got clipped by the fell orb and died right. You reached the NPCs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if you check my video reels on the Mage Towers, the rest of Druid is one I struggled with a little bit. Just damage output more than anything. Yeah, it's not crazy. Like, these colors look oversaturated to try and show it. So I don't think it's too bad. It's the medical terminology describing yellow-orange skin pigmentation, often the result of excessive consumption of carotene-rich foods such as carrots, squash, and sweet potato. I am not going to be consuming a ton of uh, carrots to see if that happens. No thanks. I only ever did the Mage Tower for somebody else once. Because uh, they couldn't do it, but yeah, other than that, I left it alone. Uh, where was the vendor? It's not a tapper, is it? This guy. Uh, so I have 2,000 of these boys, and we want this one, don't we? even using it. The last one was 6.30. Ah, oh, the heat of the furnace has been all sobered up. Let's have them rocks. Yeah, that's tanning makeup though, right? It's different. <laughs> oh, I reckon that's enough, but there's one more thing that's been bothering me. Was Rita there at Mayhain? I don't remember. Ah, forget it. Let's get his launch him over here before I lose my forge. Now for the finicking touch. The Maxil Mandeville oil. Before we can finalize the mixture, however, you must tell us how you wish your weaponry to serve you in battle. The ratio of the coatings ingredients will greatly influence the armament's various qualities, so think carefully. Just the Okay. Wow, cool. So you got to pick some stats. So we want crit. Uh, spell speed. Do we have any other choices? Piety. So we can only have these. So just determination, I guess. You prefer that over the spell speed. So, I like this. Understood. Your wish is our command. That's cool. You got to apply your own stat priority to it. Very shiny. And it's done. You're the result of undying devotion to crafted excellence. A codex. Ha! 
Had you not so bravely confessed your grievances that evening, I dare say this degree of collaborative work would have remained unattainable. Ah, well, my memories are not fuzzy on that score, but I'll take my victories where I can get them. As always, Floor, should you wish to enhance all the mandible weapons in your possession, say the word. My diligent retainer is at your service. I'm Lord Godward, though it shames me to admit the expertise necessary to manufacture the maximum mandible oil is beyond my limited alchemical knowledge. Don't look at me. If I could mix magic potions, I'd have grown my hair back long ago. <laughs> I'm aware it would prove an insurmountable feat for you as well, which is why I've employed a master alchemist. Oh, bloody odd tasting clothes, but at least he's wearing them. Our newest addition to the house mandible retinue will assist for any further augmentations and oversee the preparation of the oil. It'll also be available to readjust your weapon's properties should you be require a quantity of a crondite. This has been a monumental step forward, my friends. Yet one stage remains ere the mandible weaponry's evolution can be considered complete. And he is leading up to that. Let me guess, we're to sit here in breathless, bleeding anticipation while you sort out what comes next. Precisely. Preparing the process is likely to be a lengthy endeavor, so I do suggest you continue breathing. The final step is upon us, Floor. Pray indulge this ambition of mine one last time. Did we ever get the fan-designed weapons? I can't remember what happened with those. Like all the goofy ones. They're tombstone weapons. Got it. Cool. Uh... So, how is the journey to clear BFD on Sod? Or the Savage Journey? Savage in January? Oh, wait. That was last year. Meow. 6.45 with gems. 6.45. No material slots. Have we got a side by side compare? Doing this back as well. 293 determination. No spell speed. Right click compare. There we go. So, less crit on this one, but it comes with spell speed and a lot more determination. Yeah. Is this crit value showing here, including the materia in um, addition? Oh, hit rating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Blind. So no hit rating on this one. Okay. Alright, what's the last one, pal? Resonating with perfection. Yeah, hey, Godbert's father figured out how to perfect his alien weaponry. About bleeding fucking time, eh? We shall inform his lordship you're eager to begin. At long last floor, the end to our arduous yet most rewarding weaponsmithing journey is finally in sight. Oh, mommy's here. And a bloody expensive journey it's been. That's why I'm here, not as a dutiful wife or doting mother, but as a concerned senior partner of Mandeville and Mandeville. Our company's footed the bill for all sorts of extravagant materials and expert assistance, not to mention the rent we're paying for these high crucible facilities. Even if this is the final stage of the process, that's only one Mandeville weapon out of house sodding many. Our side business and replica weapons ain't exactly booming neither, so I reckon I needed to come along and gauge the value of continuing this venture with my own two eyes. Ah, oh, shit, it's Emma. So, so who let us offer our full cooperation to my business partner as she oversees proceedings? 
Ah, oh, now there's a sight. Seems his lordship's lost his cocksure composure. What happened, Gobbert? Weren't you just telling me how your ridiculous wealth made you free to craft whatever you're pissing pleased? I'd be on my best behaviour if I were you, Master Geralt. After all, your considerable remuneration is one of the main expenditures Lady Julian will be scrutinising. Getting paid a wedge, are we, pal? Hmm. Let us move on to the topic of augmentation, shall we? Unsurprisingly, the key to preferred weaponry lies in the application of the perfect oil, a substance known as Ultra Mandeville. The superlative lubricant will serve to maximise ethereal conductivity. Again with creepy oils. Weird. And as one might have predicted, the Ultra Mandeville's main ingredient is derived from yet another incredibly rare meteoric material, Cosmic Crystallite. When it came to the method for extracting said ingredient from the meteorite, however, my ancestor's relic was conspicuously devoid of instruction. Thus did I consult with Master Poo Poo. Thanks to his encyclopedic knowledge of alien civilizations, he was able to furnish me with the requisite technique. I must say, this is a rather unorthodox process, and one I cannot complete alone. I shall necessitate the involvement of everyone present. <coughs> <coughs> I don't like the sound of that. What foppish nonsense are you meaning to foist upon us this time? Oh, nothing too terribly taxing, I assure you. All shall be explained in due course. Ere we can begin, we must tend to the tedious chore of procuring crafting materials. For if you would pray require the crystallite to our usual tombstone hungry vendor. Okay. We shall require three chunks, one for the oil's ingredients and the other to reshape the weaponry itself. As I should warn you, these advanced Mandevillian techniques will not only enhance your armament's properties, but also greatly alter its appearance. In anticipation of such wondrous transformation, let us hurry to our tasks. What did you grind for the old relics? Was it some sort of uh, rando material? Oh, shiny and blue. Uh, they don't match your nudity though, Lion, which is really unfortunate. That doesn't match that. None of these match your outfits. Glam them away, I say. Glam them away. Get rid of them. Boo. Boo. They're not... S oh, my God. What is this name? I am the Orphan Maker. I come from the darkness to spread my value. I hate everyone. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. I hate everyone. You're all worthless to me. Swear to me. <laughs> Read a couple of toadstools. Oh, I haven't done a rando in ages. Hold on. I haven't done a rando expert. I want to see what it's like in here now. Hit me. Where is she? I am the orphan maker. Mentor as well. Yeah, Tom Stones will come uh, as and when. That's all good. You've never met an edgy Hroff? Such. Such. I like the pugs. Sometimes I, f I meet some really randos in pugs. Some crazy shit goes on. This is the longest I've ever queued, though. What the fuck? Adventure. They need DPS. Outrageous. Uh... That's crazy. There's a lack of DPS. Hmm. Game's dying. Game's dying. Twinkie boy. You can't call yourself Twinkie boy. I'm not funny. I'm not funny the Twinkie boy. Yikes. Yikes. That's... That's no good, is it? That's no good. Bellatrix Stark. I don't know about that clog. Twinkie boy? Wait to see rare DPS need an MSQ. Uh, I mean, we just saw it. Hang on, we've got to wait for Lucifer Apol Apollo. Let's hold for Lucifer to get here. Hello.
Astra Astra Astariel welcomes all to death. <laughs> all right. <laughs> ah, I love this music so much. Pogger's music. What? Hey, I am welcome to death as well. I don't mind it. Oh, we need to play warrior. I want to know what warriors are doing where they just like don't even need me to exist. Warriors are cheesing hardcore. I don't know what it is, but warriors do some of the dumbest shit in this game. I'm sure of it. No Kingdom Hearts, no. Nobles turn me off Kingdom Hearts. Get him, Cecil! I don't remember any of the bosses in this dungeon. Hopefully I won't tragically cause a wipe. Probably not. There's a relatively high chance I won't. Everything I'm tapping to has already got a dot on it. Such. Fighting here? Deal. I can't remember at all what the bosses in here do. I remember doing... Is this... Hmm. I'm going to wait and see. Warrior can solo. Yeah, the dungeons... I mean, I do miss a Mythic Plus style system. The dungeons feel a bit of a time sink. Are you actually going to die, dude? There you go. That warrior needed healing. Bad player confirmed, or what? Dark Elf. Fuck, I don't remember this guy. I assume it does some form of AoE damage to start off with. Are they going to blow up? Oh, I remember this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Purple. Okay. Whichever the shiny one is, go to the other one. Got it. Oh, that, that guy just died. Did, uh, oh, did he have fucking uh, doom on him? No, that went off too quick, right? Did that guy release? The fuck? I mean, I rezzed him. I think he's, uh... I think he's Sprouters, because he was watching the cutscene when we came in, right? So he's probably a Sprouters. Oh, he has got Doom on him. Shit. I got you, buddy. I may have let that other guy die to Doom and not realized it. I did res him, though. So I've got that going for me, right? You're getting hammered over there. Yeah, get some get some of Salou's jism all over you. Selene will take care of you. Ah, 
That's enough. No more. No Doomers? We're good. Oh, double Doomers? Fuck, man. I got you, pal. Oh, the more times you get hit, does the, is it the quicker Doom ticks on you? Hexed by the Dark Elf, the moment of Doom draws ever nearer as the stacks increase. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, well, that ticks faster, but shorter duration. It goes off quicker. That's that's where we're going. <laughs> Let's hope that boy doesn't release again. That would be kind of such. Oh, did we get the phantom wall here? Hurry, Golbez. The city is already overrun. I know, now the guy who released is a crafting mentor. First the villages and now the capital. Nothing is exempt from their avarice. No bully, I'm just curious. Just curious, you know, curious. Warrior boy's good. Hold. Hold. There you go. I cannot, will not fall here. It's like uh, by my my Dark Knight. <laughs> Before we get uh. Our lovely shield. Ooh! I showed you my thighs. Answer me. <laughs> dirty bastard. You dirty bastard. Dirty. Oh, for sure we're at Ballas Gate tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tear that place asunder, baby. I am glad we got our gold back off that thieving Diabolist. I did have to take a bit more than I wanted, but I got it back, and that's what matters. That's the important thing. If I remember right, Art of War is still a DPS increase on two targets, but I think you should have got one. Not a purge, okay. <laughs> Crab Daddy. I can't remember what this does either. Golbez. Get him, Crab Daddy. Everybody in? Good. AOE, okay. A little bit of AOE for your face. Oh, one of these. Yo, is this guy actually in a good spot? I think he is. Oh, I didn't look at the things falling down. Oof. Oof. Don't worry, friends. We'll all be okay. Oh, no. 
Uh oh. Uh, I'm done to die. Yep, yeah, I knew it. Uh Help! Uh I no reses in Oh no. Well, Warrior can solo this. My move was slow. Well, you said the warrior could solo it, right? It's all gonna be fine. Well, I'm jumping and running. I don't think you do anything else there, right? I had my, uh... Oh, my sprint didn't go off. I did press it, then. If I release, can I get back here? That guy got back into the fight. You know, uh, the mentor before when he released? Maybe he was just stood at the doorway. He was just close. Oof. Uh-oh. I don't feel good for our boy. Oh, no! Ha! <laughs> Did he shortcast it? <laughs> oh, no! You should join Arthur's wife in his drill cam. Maybe he'll teach you to play this game properly just like her tech. You got this. Cheer on Akasha. Oh, you said a warrior can solo. It's all good. Warrior 8 dying. Place your bets. Checkers. Follow on it. No, no, no. He's not going to die. You know you can get up instead of cheering, right? We're getting back seated. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Yeah, there's no way he dies now. It's not going to rage or anything. All right, let's get back to the rest of them after. Too angry to die, yeah, for sure. There's no way he's going to die from that point. Oh, he's not letting up. He wants to go. Is this guy going to expect to res now? Question. Do you think this dude expects a res as well? No, he's up.
I'm not making them wait. He's fighting. What the fuck are you guys talking about? They're fine. They're totally fine. What are you fucking going on about? Jesus Christ. I cannot. We're They're absolutely not fine. Streamer Ego? I swear to God, you fucking cook. Jesus Christ, nothing happened at all. Nobody was delayed. Nothing went wrong. You absolute jerk off. Shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ, you're not allowed to watch the fight. You've got to get up immediately and stand there and wait. Stop watching what happens. It's not right. No. You should get up and stand in a little line and make sure it's ready to go. What if they had to wait five seconds? Fear my wrath. Jesus. I think the whole dungeon had fallen apart or something. Nothing happened whatsoever. Nothing. Zero things. I dare say we'll be faster if we split up. No, nothing's worth getting angry about or upset. So weird. Oh, Huge new drama. <laughs> what you should have done is wait until it was die and walk back, and that would have saved five seconds. We're going to deplete. We're not going to make it. We haven't got enough time. I hope you guys all whispered the other guy releasing after the res. He had pure streamer ego. I hope he spam whispered endlessly. We can't. <laughs> Doesn't this guy have us all over the map doing something? Am I right on that? To fortify my blade. Oh, 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 you guys are getting shrecked. What the fuck are you guys doing? I need you guys need to chill the fuck out. What did these do? Uh, they do that. Such savagery ill suits you. Please don't all die again. Dude. For fuck's sake. Oh, 
fucking hell. I was trying to see if that guy would get up or not. Fucker. This is a calamity of a run, dudes. We're in calamitous situations. Where are the eels? I mean, everyone's blowing up everywhere. It's fucking crazy. We had to blow a lot of coolies there to keep that going. I daren't cheer him on. It'll be some sort of streamer ego to celebrate his victory. We don't want that. We don't want to risk the ire. Boss was still really high health, though. Those guys got fucking battered in there, though. Absolutely battered. You've weathered this before. There's a Let's part of me that wants to say something now. here. Have you tried getting good? It's an inner monologue that exists. <laughs> Even so, I'll not be bested. Not this day. Put an end to this. I have to. <laughs> I have to put a stop to this. So he's gonna lose his it's fucking over, mind. My Oh, wait, wait, classic. Results, see? Oh, I tried to give him the fucking thumbs up, man. 
I tried to give the thumbs up. I tried to give the thumbs up. How is that toxic? From their perspective, it was all resolved. A WoW player with a new... Right, we go again. Let's do this one. Let's see if we bump into here. Give us 100. All right, you ready? I tried to commend. I tried. I tried to commend. I tried. I tried. Of course. Goes without saying. Of course. Of course. Of course. Default portrait. Toxic no, Saj. Toxic, inefficient waste of time. Hey. The thing is, right, when you play it out like that, we had fun, and now that guy's going to tell a story so, when's the of bumping into story this wild this player. From their perspective? <laughs> bumping into this wild player in Dungeon Roulette. They got, like, stuck outside and all that kind of shit. <clears throat> yeah, in this week on Drama Time. <laughs> I love shit like that, because it goes both ways and nobody's upset. He's got a story. We've got a story. It's all good. That's the best outcome for everybody. Nobody's pissed off. Everybody's fine. It's all good. Everybody's pissed. Nobody's nobody's angry. Everyone's going to say. What up, players? Let's kick this for real. There we go. See? For real, for real. Scassy. And then we got an XD. Uh, I need more emotes. Uh, give me a Zoomer emote. What would a Zoomer reply to XD? No cap. Skibbity. <laughs> Skibbity. Skibbity skib. Oh, okay. Translations. Go, Greeks. What are we saying? Tora, Tori Amos doesn't make good songs. Team Greece. I need Roger. They're saying you are a potato. I don't even like potatoes. Sad, sad face. Do you think these guys talk shit about people? Vul, uh... All right, what's this? What's Vul Vulweenie? So they're Greek, right? Hold on. Do you guys play in a net cafe? How am I toxic? They told me to shut up and called me a potato. I'm pretty sure I, I said, hey, I'm pretty sure I'm not the fucking toxic one here. Pretty sure I came in with like, hey, what's up, guys? I got told to shut up and a potato. They're calling each other potatoes. Wait, are we all potatoes? Maybe this is deeper than I know.
You're instigating. <laughs> do you have any thoughts on the new Nvidia supercards <laughs> releasing this month? Or no. Or do you prefer to stay out of that kettle of fish? No, I used to really enjoy learning about GPUs. Now the GPUs grew stronger and wiser than wherever necessary, and now I don't give a shit. I did see that some websites are selling the base cards for more expensive than the super versions. <clears throat> I used to follow GPU news like it was a religion. Huh? Can I plate check? Hold on. Let's do a plate inspection. Can oh, we can't do it. I'll just say XD, so I'm joining in. I want to be part of the conversation. I don't want to be left out because I'm not Greek. Uh, okay, so Toxic is you started playing. We're just encountering some individuals, that's all. I came in full of hope and happiness. Look at what they said at the beginning. Uh, okay, the conversation was... Uh, where were we? Natu to Bordello. Exume 10 minutes. Natu Kananumi Elios. It's going to be done. Then Shaola said, hey. Then Princess Katana said, poo. In massive letters. In caps. And then he said, 10 lepta, I know to cut scenes mono. Which I guess is like, oh, it's so many cut scenes. Ha 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 and I said, I don't even like potatoes, because the potato thing was going on. Then Volwini, her. Uh, and that's where we're up to. There you go. <clears throat> Here it is, the whorehouse, talking about the Praetorium. Whorehouse? Whorehouse? No, no, no. FR is for real, Mew. For real, for real. FR, FR. For real, for real. He is going to Fantasia, so- Oh, okay, I can join him with that. So you gonna be a Lala. That's cool. <laughs> I'm just trying to join in. Alright. A what? Hold on. Wait, are you guys mistranslating? Is they are they not gonna be potato people? You guys might be fucking trolling me here. I need Roger. Can I trust the chat translation on this or what? You guys are supposed to be trustworthy. Oh, there's more than one Greek here. There always is. The Greeks are everywhere. Did we get barrier here? We do. The problem is with uh, our Greek friends is uh, they're all in a web cafe talking to each other off comms. Rude, honestly. You want to be in Greece, Paku? You never want to be in Greece. Hell no. 
Although I do want to be in Greece, actually. Roger said we could go fishing. I've only ever been to Greece once, and it was when I was a kid. It was a long old time ago. Kill it! Yay! Yeah, they're confused now about being a Lala. I don't know, man. They say Fantasia to Potato. That's Lala. It's a beautiful country. It's bloody hot, though. Bloody hot. Worst part of Praetorium is this part. I fucking hate this bit. It's great during the story, but at this point, it sucks. Type Lala equals potato. Lala equals potato. Now I'm just saying random shit at bizarre intervals. Like, it's over. It's over. We're not talking to anybody anymore. <laughs> they know that. They called them potatoes. Yeah, now I'm just like, it's like a fucking minute. They probably think I can't even use a keyboard. It's like a minute and a half gap between fucking lines of text. Like I'm thinking about my answer, like some bizarre texting relationship. Hello, Preach and Drama Time viewers. Story for you. Met this schizophrenic scholar in my prey run, kept going on about potatoes all the time. Fucking weird clown. They were talking about potatoes. I didn't bring it up. Say that you're a console player. <laughs> you guys are not helpful. <laughs> Use the words potato to either call each other dumb or to say... They said they were going to Fantasia to a potato. That means I've got to change into a Lala, surely. Surely that's what... There's no other interpretation of that phrase. Ain't no way, dude. Ain't no way. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing worse than the three question marks. The three question marks instantly puts everyone into a fucking state of confusion. It's like, I don't understand what's going on. Three question marks is nightmare fuel for anybody who's trying to understand something. An actual chat GPT player. I responded too quickly. I should have left it another minute and a half. That's nothing worse than three question marks. Three question marks is like, was I dumb? You don't like fries? And French. We have to stop. We're going to get in trouble. We'll have to stop. God is this stupid. I love it. To many more months. <laughs> Hi, preach. Me again. This scholar started talking about Lelefel being potatoes. Actually concerned they were a cannibal. Cannot wait to get the fuck away from them. I'm just going to ask questions. It's the, it's the safest bet. It's the safest bet. 
Why are we talking about fries now? I didn't bring up fries. What's fries got to do with it? Yeah. Cultivating the Greek fandom, I see. Oh, I need translation crew! See, Amir and I Hello, auto. Checked here. Even I don't generate such hallucinated text messages. Mike, were you what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? In any way? What does it mean? Is he calling me? A, is he calling me a bot? Okay, I'm getting weird translations. Team Greece, what's this? He thinks you're an automobile. I haven't even got any wheels. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's the point. Uh, that's what it's all about. I don't even understand what that means. I'll wait a while and do the three question marks. It's the yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> well, we need to leave it some time. Yeah, just need to give it a delay. Need to give it a delay. Hold on. Blue 15 months. Let's go. Respond <laughs> three question marks to yourself. <laughs> hey, it's Praetorium. You gotta have a bit of a giggle on the way. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> He's on board. This guy's totally in. He's well on board for again it. For a third time. I don't think I ever want to do a prey run again. No, 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 this guy is totally on board. He's like, yeah, I'm into it. I'm in totally into it. He's totally embraced it. I love it. I fucking love it. He's like, ah, I don't know what's going on, but we're in. Uh, I agree. We're a three-man team. We're missing the princess. We're princessless and poor. Sag. Hey, there's the princess. All good, all good. Not taking it seriously, minus five seconds. Yeah, we were. It was devastating. Absolutely devastating. I'm gonna send a whisper for inefficiency. Huh. 
Hi Preach, Princess Hi. here. Stop judging me for being late. I'm the not! FASP was I late. don't care Leave if you're late. Alone. Are you fucking kidding me? I couldn't give a shit. I don't care. Why would anybody care? Nothing's gonna go wrong. It's all fine. Oh, chat soak. I'll beat it to next week. Sweet victory. Bye, Nero. Good job, everyone. I died here last time. GG's. Oh, Der Derek is on board. Derek's a respectable gentle sir. Derek's like, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Get it done. Derek's a player. And the rest. Look, Derek's joining in. I like it. Ah, uh, yeah, com commendations for Derek. Commendations for Derek. He's saying it in French because I told him earlier I was French. Will you keep up with the lore of the Praetorian run? Earlier on, I explained to him that I was French. You guys aren't keeping up with the fucking s the history that's being made here. This needs to go in a book. He's remembered that. He's like, oh, I'm with this French dude. So I'm going to, like, say GG's in French to him. <laughs> what does mon amour mean? <laughs> that would be like, oh, my God. <laughs> what does mon amour mean? It's uh, <laughs> just like, are you French? No. <laughs> Holy shit, that would be funny. Uh, that way, right? Yeah. yeah. I always face the wrong fucking way coming out of here. Do it? No, no, no. I'm not trying to wind anybody up. Crispy plate to go with it. No, I respect Derek. Derek remembered the tale. He remembered the story. He knows what's up. Oh, old Sid voice. Never forget. Oh my god, it's Gaia. I only just noticed. The Gaia cosplays have followed us into the game. Look, there's no escaping the Gaia cosplays. I'm telling you, I'm very tempted at the next competition to have a Gaia cosplay of my own. I'm going to have to do some high heel practice. I wouldn't. I would. I fucking would. Cali, it's good work in Greek. Hang on, I'm fucking double checking you. Uh, what does? <laughs> I'm double checking you. You try to get me. Cali, do layer. Mean. It means good job. Okay, I'll allow it. All right, here we go. I'll allow it. Oh, wait. Oh, he thought it was the end. We got this, guys. I don't trust. I have no reason to trust. Which is strange, is it not? Our 
other twelve otherwise engaged. I was given to understand they were your protectors. If you truly believe them, your guardians, why do you not... You think they might not be Greeks? I'm pretty sure they're Greeks. I mean, they were naturally talking Greek when we came in. They, are they a part of the same guild? Probably, right? They were chatting to each other when they came in, so I imagine they queued up together. Get their tombstones in. Yeah, no one else is joining into this. I, I think they live in a world of confusion. That's why Derek gets the commendation. Derek embraced. Derek knows what's going on. Derek, well, he doesn't know what's going on, but he's down with it, and that's what matters. They're French pretending to be Greek. And I'm an Englishman pretending to be French. So maybe I'm Greek? It's dark, but with a gap in the middle. So I'm going with Derek. Oh, Katana's joined in. Okay, that's just keyboard spamming. Game Alu level. Martin Luther King, I pexed us, see after, it's a game Alu level. Greeks, go! What does that mean? Oh, there's more coming. Thelly Polly and I don't know what's happening. There's too much going on. Dude, the players of name. Okay, yeah, 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 good, good, good. We got it, we got it, we got it. We're talking that little. Uh, yeah, we're on Gaius. We're, we're making friends across the game. It's all good. This dude for you wants to feel included. I am included. I'm here. Oxy, what does that mean? Is, are they asking for oxycotton drugs? Am I male? Oh, God. Google translate this, babe. All right. Okay, we got uh, Pez of a Gibbis. What does that mean? Reply Oxy, okay. In all caps, so you know it's real. I'm here. What's that? 
That's not a word. Oh, you think I'm being debated? Okay, okay. The debating is happening. Oh, is it a hard R in Greek? Oh, that's not allowed. Rude. <laughs> Rude. What rude. <laughs> Calling me that. Kind of mean. <laughs> I'm really upset. It's okay. I was having a good time. You need to Google Translate the whole you conversation guys have a great after day. the duty. I'm a bounce. Wait, 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 Derek! Don't go! Got him. Okay, we got Derek in. That's all good. We got Derek the Giga Chad. He's square. Derek's all good. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, uh, we got another 100 from that one. Sweet. All right, let's, let's smash that one out as well. See what happens. Right, I promise you there'll be nobody crazy in this one. Guaranteed. Hunt trains, I don't think we're going to encounter anybody fun, though. Sup, dudes. Let's have a great time together. <laughs> Dude isn't gender specific as of for ages. Ah, uh, I think these are just chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, still going. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I think these just want their tombstones and out. Bastard. Bastard. Misery guts. Might as well get to know some people in your MMOs, man. We're all together in this. I'm trying to get some conversation going. Alright, um... Dudes. Wow, I just did the new MSQ. So good. That's a, an interesting topic of conversation, right? It's got to be on their minds a little bit. Yeah, there might be a Spoilerino. We'll have to see if someone is... Uh, be a Sprouteroo here? The MSQ's been out for like a week. They didn't have to hold back. <laughs> Tell them all about it in excruciating detail. No one's replying, dudes. No one gives a fuck. Unless they're focused on their rotation. No one fucking cares. No, I don't think I don't think we're getting into any uh, combo here. Did 
They might not be cool dudes. We'll have to check the. Um... Talking to people in an MMO. Disgusting. It's not we are disgusting. Gentle sirs here and insist we play no, no, the game no, 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 no. as good gentle sirs. No, no, no. Talking to people in your MMO is good. Good, 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 good. You want to talk to people in your MMO. This is why people are always say I can't fight a guild, I can't do it to play with. You just gotta toss, toss, toss out what's going on and uh, see if you get some friendships going. All good. Oh, I have I have access to spells now. Sick. Hang on, let's check the plates. Good plate. Don't think about what you lost, but what you still have. Alright, we got some deepness going from Anna. Anna's deep. What about Luna? Nice. Can February, March? No, but April, May. Classic. A classic. A fleeting dream. Someday the dream will end. FF10. An old schooler. Hey, guys. What's your fave FF? Just finished. Eight was freaking cool. If no one responds to that, there's no hope. Yeah, if no one responds, that's it. It's over. It's over. I think. I think. Uh, <laughs> oh, here we go! Oh, shit! Probably seven, but a bias was the first game I played. We're on! Playing Rebirth? We got one! We got a hit! We're trying, dudes. We're trying. Not enough downtime in here. I think we have SQ Roulette for the rest of the day. <laughs> Praetorium is the play. Yeah, Luna's the tank. Yeah, we could. It's basically uh, MSQ Roulette slash Omegle. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Wanna finish the other single player games first. We got a friend! Luna gets. Okay, this is how we do commends. Best chit chat gets commendation. Got two, three. Oh. Two, three, thirteen, and fifteen left. Ah, shit, I forgot five. I'm not editing it. I'm not editing it. It's fine. I'm not going, I'm not updating it. It's fine. I 
I'm not asking you guys. I'm talking to the guy in the chat. All right. This isn't about you. We're making new friends today, all right? All right, I got to turn around here. We're meeting strangers in paradise, baby. Ah, oh, the tank's rubbish. Can't talk. Oh, well. Come on. Strangers again. We're never finishing Strangers in Paradise. We might watch some video of all the cutscenes at some point. That would be the play. Yeah, he's tanking, man. GG's to Luna, though. What a chad. I think Luna wants to reply and can't because they're tanking. Guaranteed, Luna replies after this boss fight. Guaranteed. Not even a doubt in my mind, honestly. Super guarantee. You think I'm going to get ignored? I don't think so. I think you're wrong. Hold. Hold. Come on, Luda. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, Luda. During the load screens, appropriate. Nah, Luna's off, man. Left on read, dude. It's fucking swipe left. You hate to see it, man. You hate to see it. We had something going there. We had a dream. Now the dream's over. Remember way back when, when Luna talked to us? Now look at us. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> hey Luna, did you get my last message? <laughs> oh no, that's so sad. That's so sad. Hi, Luna. It's me again. Did you get my message? <laughs> we could go weird with it and say this place reminds me of Final Fantasy IV. We could get real wacky with it and see what they say. Is your internet working? You missed my last couple of messages. Oh, we could type something and say, Oh, sorry. Uh, that message wasn't meant for you, Luna. <laughs> that message was meant for someone else. But while I've got you on the phone... <laughs> while I've got you on the phone... Uh, can you answer me this question? Oh, no. I would never tell someone I think FF7 is overrated. I do believe that, but... It's not appropriate. Luna's still getting the commendation over anybody else, though. Luna actually responded. So where we get the ads? I think it is, right?
The wall rots and crumbles. Oop. Don't fall into the wall. My brave Careful now. Dragging my sorry ass over here. Any speed pots? Oh, careful. Careful. Ask Luna how she pronounced Aerith. Protect me. I do want to ask that. Ah, uh, I do want to ask that. Now, oh, don't spread him out. Come on, guy. It would be wrong to ask. I'm not going to. I do want to, though. Stubborn mortals. Come, I like a chit chat in the dungeons, man. It's not like this stuff is really hard to do. I guess in the name of speed, we must all push forth. In the name of efficiency, there shall be no typing. LB! Luna still has a chance to rescue this. GG, GG. Alright, Luna gets it anyway. Luna's gone. Luna's gone. See you guys. Oh, I'm all alone. <laughs> I'm all alone. <laughs> Time to type. <laughs> Uh, didn't have time to type. Oh, it just reset. Hold on, hold on. Let me check. Right, experts got 60. Okay. Yeah, that one's... I've already got that one. All right, we could do one more, I think. We still need another, like, 50. All right, we could do one expert. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, trial? Oh, we could go into a trial as well. All right, we'll do a couple. Let me get a drink. I've got no drink left. Let's get a drink. I bet we could make a new friend.
New friend ink. Guaranteed new friend. Here we go. Guaranteed. We need a different topic of conversation. No one wants to talk about Dawn Trail. Hmm. Oh, here again. Hey, everyone. Let's have a great time. Just did MSQ. It was so cool. How the fuck is that toxic? Talking to people is not toxic. He drips. Talking to people is in no way toxic. Fucking talking to people is toxic. Want to be his friend, he's brute forcing his way in. You can do your roulette. You don't have to talk to me, but you should. You should. Smile. Yeah. 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 No spoilers. Uh, winky face. Oh, we got everyone's talking. Yeah, I can't wait for a D-Trail. We got it. We've got all three. Oh, don't die. Now what? We now we need to keep it going. Uh, okay, you should have seen it. Kuhn has seen it. Who's the other person? Titus. Titus hasn't said anything. Titus might be spoiler territory. Uh, what do you guys think S9 is? All right, all right. We try this. We try this, and we'll see what's going on. What do you guys think S9 is? Let, let's assess Titus real quick. Oh, no. Titus has definitely done the MSQ. That pondering face. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Arthur's, dude. I'm making friends, man. I'm making so many friends. It's ridiculous. I'm pretty much the social equivalent of Jesus Christ. You'll see. I'm not going anywhere. I'm a healer. Hey, you guys better back the fuck up. Oh, Titus. Now you're doomed, pal. I got you, pal. I got you. Don't worry. Why would they end up killing me? What, is, what sense would it be for that to happen? I'm going to apply this to World of Warcraft. I think if I come into World of Warcraft, Mythic Plus Pugs... With this kind of attitude, I think we can really turn it around. Oh, Titus! No! Hold, Titus! Hold! Hold the line, buddy. It's going to be okay. No, I know you guys are doubting. You guys are doubting big time, like, how open people are if you open the door for them, right? 
just waiting for somebody to just open the door and they'll walk right on through. Oh, my boy Titus is in a rough way. It's okay, Titus. It's all right, dude. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Daddy's got you. Daddy's got you. Trust. Can't, oh, there we go. Can't say it myself. Theories? I'm thinking FF8. Hurry, Golbez. The city is already overrun. Just gotta let it happen. Can't appreciate that. First the villages and now the capital. Hey, Kuda. Again, the tanks, man. The tanks. The tanks are the one with a chatty nature. Yeah, Kuna's just got to let it happen. Just let it fucking just lie back. Easy it in real sexy like. Just let it happen. I'm down for that. Will not fall here. It's because we're bored in dungeons. Exactly. So get a chit chat going. Make a friend. I'm holding them hostage. How am I holding someone hostage? Everybody's alive. Everyone's fine. It's all good. They knew There's a six-hour global cooldown. Hours. We can type between. Mm, can't tell nationality from here. I would laugh if it was just a spell. Like an illusion? Interesting. New theory on the table. Yeah. Ooh. Yo, Kuna's got some theories going. Enough. Mm. A vision, maybe. You think it's the Mandevillians? No way. No way. This one is dangerous. Have care, Golbez. Well, Godbert's in uh, part of the MSQ. He exists in the canon. Uh, these fall over the first ones. I can't remember. That looks good. Shit. I think I'm fine. Two middle ones. Okay. I'm still a team Esther. I'm definitely team Esther. Hundred percent. It's a shame the rest of the dudes don't want to have a chit chat. Ah, oh, shit! We're going this way. Oh, I can run faster. I'm so slow in FF14, man. Like the run speed is so slow.
Yeah, we're doing some tomes to make. Oh shit, I've got to move. Oh, I forgot. Did that sandpit give me a bone, even though I was like. I haven't got off yet? That's interesting. Oh, Titus! Not again! I got you, brother! Don't die, brother Titus! Brother Titus takes a kicking every day of the week. Beasts bodes Ill. We've no time to lose. I got him! I got him! I got him! I got him! I got brother Titus! I got him! No, we were doing instances because we were meeting new and interesting people from all around the globe. We have some nice Greek friends. Okay. We're slightly more spicy. Efficiency isn't everything. It's not all about doing the most efficient path. It's about the most interesting way of doing it, right? These are real players. With thoughts and opinions. Fear my <laughs> Scripted players. <laughs> Fade axes. I dare say we'll be faster if we split up. Oh, the hunt people never talk, man, until the end. The hunt people don't say shit. There'll be a fucking 500 people there not saying a goddamn thing. Until the end. Hey, it's GG's. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Thanks, Furian. You're a really nice guy. Like you, mate. Even though you're Danish, which is kind of fucked up. Hunts are full spammy, people are bored. Yeah. That's okay. We're in the uh, end of expansion downtime. That's all right. That's okay. Get everything wrapped up that you want. Did this patch bring I any new actual content to do? Besides, obviously, MSQ story stuff. No. Relic, that's it. Fair enough. Well, our winner this round is Kuna. Joined in. Good times. Okay, guys, don't get absolutely fucking battered in here, okay? Don't do it. Don't get absolutely fucking smashed. That's all I want. I'm going to give you an XCOG, Titus. I have doubts about you, son. To fortify my blade. Okay. I have my doubts, pal. I need power. Light or dark, it matters not. Uh, Guild Wars 2 is absolutely on the menu. My game plan is to build up a bit of content for it. We've done that in WoW as well. I want to do some WoW this week and get caught up on the story before the war within. And then we've got two story patches of WoW content. Savagery Ill and uh, War Within Alpha sounds starts pretty soon, so I'd like to check that out. Well, the story is everything at the moment, as you will be aware. They're pushing for big stories, so... I will always judge based on what's produced, not an assumption of what's produced. Remember, they're going for the whole three expansion story arc. You've weathered this before. 
Let's see how you fare now. The Hydland Zodiac era begins. Now, I'm not saying they made a great start, but they made us a start. Who knows, maybe after the, the raid one, they've uh, upped, it, upped their game a bit. Who knows? Dude, I love WoW, man. I, I want them to do really, really well. You know? I want that to happen. I would love to uh, have have us all be able to dip in and out for patching season. I'll not be bested. Not this day. Careful, Titus! I think you got unfairly judged there, Titus. I don't think that was fair on our boy, Titus. It's over, my friend. Oh, I tried to grip. I went for the grip. I got globals. You've weaponed this before. Let's see how you fare now. Good job, everybody. That was really smooth. Hey, yo, Kuna, you deserve it. Take care, folks. Have a good rest of the day. You see what I'm saying? Kuna, little bit of chit chat, right? Throwing out some really nice sentences at the end of the conversation. That's because of us. That's because of us. That's because we brought a good attitude, a good positive chit chatty attitude to the team. That's what that was. That's what that was. We did that. 100% we did that. You know what I mean? Two commendations, nice and chit chatty. That's how we do it. It has please don't kill me undertones. No, it doesn't, man. You guys are all judging. Uh. It's probably a kid. Friend request. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I accept you into my life, sunshine. Uh, no, because we need like... Um... Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I can't do it. Okay, these are deleted characters, right? God, I just wish it didn't fuck. Oh! Why does it refresh the whole list every time? Why? It's such a stupid thing to have it do. Go into a separate fucking menu. You've got 8 billion member menus in this game. And you can't do one that's like pending. Right? Can't do current one and pending. You can't do that. Fucking clown shoes. It's so frustrating. You have 8 million menus and you can't get it right. Jesus fucking Christ. I hate it so much. Right, get rid of these. Decline. Go away. It's that interview when they went with uh, no clip, right? Where the guy's like, I'm the UI designer. And that fucking guy. That fucking guy sat there smug as you like. And how long does it take to hold this fucking button down? Holy shit.
But... Can I arrange these by filter? Uh, right. If I do alphabetical... Do all the ones that have moved go some... They all go to the bottom. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Although it takes so long to load, it's kind of a waste of time. Uh, no, we still don't have enough tomes for relics. We need 1,500, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need 1,500. No, I, I'm just not going to accept any friends. That's literally the only fucking choice. It's the only choice. This is dead for all time. Like, I've got to accept it. This is dead for all time. Like, does it reverse the order? What about this? What's filter groups? Group one... Oh, hold on. Right, I can make a... Assign friend group. Can I change group name? No, I'm not doing this. This is going to take me fucking forever. This is just a pain in the ass. I'd have to do everybody individually. Right? That's like... It's like 200 people, man. Yeah, do it off stream. Yeah, for sure. I'm totally doing that. Let's stop there for today. Uh, I'll, I'll grind out a couple more tomes in the next couple of days. Uh, and we'll get back to it. Because we're going to do some Baldur's Gate 3 in the morning. <laughs> we're going to do some Baldur's Gate 3. I've got to get writing this thing, man. There's all information coming my way. I need to get it done. I'm not asking somebody or paying somebody to sort my friends list out in the game. That's not happening. Uh, we have got a list of things to do here. How is our schedule looking for the year? Uh, bad, right? Like, really, really bad. Okay. Right, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Let's stop there. Uh, and I'll be back later on. See? Not happening. Dudes, awesome day. Loads done. MSQ looking fantastic. Theories abound. BG3 in the morning. We're coming to the end of Baldur's Gate 3. And then we'll have some open space to do some things with. We'll have this, like, open space to play around with. So that's what we're going to do. All right? So have a great evening. Have a great afternoon. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.